Absalom. City at the center of the world, jewel of the inner sea, a thriving metropolis where all walks of life come together in a maelstrom of commerce and opportunity. At the center of all this power stands the mighty Bank of Abadar, an imposing symbol of order that rises up from the street with its stone columns and way scale motifs. Here gathers the worshippers of both gods and coin, for it is through this mighty structure that most of this city's wealth moves and resides. Indeed, it is said that the legendary Vault of Abadar, seen by naught but the most trusted of the church's inner circle, contains the riches of over half the world. That it occupies this privileged position is in no small part due to the fact that not once in the literal thousands of years that it has existed has the Vault ever been plundered. Indeed, the very idea of robbing the most secure vault in all the free world is so ludicrous that no thief would even dream of such a notion. That is, until today. Trundling down a nearby street in a carriage, we see the four members of our crew, the infamous Back Alley Bandits. Kings feared them, thieves revered them. For nearly a decade, they wreaked havoc as the greatest caper crew of the inner sea and beyond until that last faithful job that cost them everything, including the life of their charismatic leader. Now, eight years since they've parted ways, the four of them have returned for one final score and the last job they'll ever need. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Jar. Uh, my character is uh, Sira Lokath. Oh, well, that's one of their names. They're one of their aliases. Um... Uh, I will be playing the burglar of the uh, crew. I am a uh, level seven rogue, uh, and I am a uh, a Nadi, which is I can I have like a humanoid form and a spider form. You're like uh, a jumping spider person. I'll be I'll be in my humanoid form. Okay. Uh, at, right now, yeah. I chose the the spindly Anadi, uh, so. Uh, my character's about six foot nine, oh. uh, with long gangly arms and legs. I love that. And when she's in her, like, uh, spider form, she's, yeah, very much... Daddy like, long legs. <laughs> or uh, mummy long legs. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I hate that and I love it. Thank you for that. She's uh, staring uh, broodingly out the window, smoking a cigarette at the moment. Amazing. I'm Ebony uh, and I will be playing the face... Uh, so I'm level seven bard, and um, my character is um, an elf who is also quite lean, gangly, long. Um, and if I'd like you to picture, if you will, the essence of him from the Powerpuff <laughs> Girls. <laughs> oh, <excellent choice. laughs> um, so my character's name. Uh, they're referred often uh, by their colleagues as Stick um, because professionally they're a drag king named Stick E Fingers. So, <laughs> um, so in the in the time since since um, our our gang disbanded, they've been uh, prowling Working the divey divey uh, nightclubs, uh, doing their drag act and probably pilfering a couple pockets along the way. I'm Regan. I will be playing the muscle, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Leonidas. I'm the catfolk barbarian of the crew. And I like to think on the carriage there, I'm doing my prep work, which is definitely just like stretching in that way that cats do. <laughs> like all right. Maybe all right. <laughs> licking a thing, licking my oh, lip, that's very licking a thing. That's very <laughs> like, <intimate>. Really? <laughs> It's not a large carriage, so it's just like the yeah. four of you crammed in, and, and you are just like leg up. Going. You're quite a large cat. As well. some, oh yeah. Do you have some Hefty. like milk protein drinks? <laughs> no, they're lactose free. Well, like, yeah, lactose right? free milk protein. That's not good with milk. Yeah, I like to think muscle, muscly, <laughs> hairless cat. It's a weird vibe. Like a sphinx kind of thing? Yep. Oh. Devon Rex. So it's all, like, it's all like ripped bodybuilder, like wrinkly kind of musculature <laughs> and stuff. Like Schwarzenegger, Lundgren, those kind of things. You're welcome. You're an 80s action hero. Yep. Yeah. And Bruce just Willis like a cat, I have five. no regard for personal space. So yes, I am like stretching a leg behind someone. And I'm just like, so nice to be back together, guys. <laughs> it's really good to see you all. <laughs> 
<laughs> just no sense of occasion whatsoever. No. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Except if people touch you, do you have like a problem with that? Depends where they touch me, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Obviously. All right. I'm just imagining you're like all over everyone else and then every time we like go to like pat you, you do that thing that cats do where they just somehow just disappear like... from that space. Yeah, just like... away. Yes. Sitting, looking extremely out of place compared to all of you who seem accustomed to more criminal activities. Um, I'm, I look like a high school chemistry teacher um i am a human a humanoid fetchling so even though i am uh humanoid it's like weird i've kind of got like grayish skin and like where you know where you can like see veins through people's skin normally like that's just glowing just faintly mm-hmm. like a, a weird sickly kind of light going on the heck is a fetchling um, basically humans who got lost in the shadow plane mm. and then stayed there for a while and became twisted and generations after they have been shadow people changed. Mm. So is glowing part of that or did yep. you just, I just oh. glow, okay. but I can, I can like you dull it. I can dull that. Okay. But it's just like, I'm just, you know, sitting here and I've got a little book and I'm just writing some, some notes. Some I've got, stuff. Yeah. I've got you know, my little alchemist packs and things like that. So, yes, I am the alchemist, um, but I prefer – I'm actually just a chemist. Um, (laughs) I'm much more, like, science-based. It's very important to me. My name happens to be Al. um, (laughs) Al the chemist. Al the The chemist, chemist. (laughs) yes. And I am (laughs) – the demolitions expert because I make things go boom. The specialist. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, the fifth and final occupant of your carriage is a smartly, <laughs> perhaps a little yes. gaudily dressed, thank you, Emily, <laughs> uh, Noel with bright yellow eyes and a head of brown curls. Like they a dollar sign. <laughs> just so ridiculous. That's amazing. <laughs> Take a minute. You're yeah. okay. It's good. It's good. You, 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 you're pretty chuffed with yourself? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you still have time. Thank you, Ebony. Thank yes. You. <laughs> they are the backer for this operation, um, a wealthy merchant and Thieves Guild benefactor by the name of Talus Ordo. As a purveyor of, shall we say, alternative financing arrangements, <laughs> um, Talus has a vested interest in seeing the bank's stellar reputation tarnished. Thus, with the additional promise of an equal one-fifth cut of the take, they've agreed to finance your operation, uh, including gear, bribes, and any unforeseen expenses you might encounter. And they look to the four of you now, and they give you a smile and say, Well, this is it. A big day. I must say, I'm, I'm rather excited uh, you, you, to think I'd be sitting here in a carriage with the infamous Bumblebee bandits as they start their first job uh, in, in, in nearly a decade. I, 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 I never thought I'd see it. Excitement aside, though, are you all ready? As ready as we'll ever be. Let's get yeah. this over with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Have some more calisthenics. <laughs> oh, my, that's a lot of guns. <laughs> Goodness. All We're right. Ready. It's a little hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> Your target is perhaps Absalom's most closely guarded secret. In fact, to any casual observer, it would seem entirely absurd. A single, modest, but complete set of all the coins circulated in Absalom. However, these are no common currency, for these are the master minting coins of the city. Each of these ancient and powerful alchemical coins is imbued with an innate ability to self-replicate, and indeed, this is how the Absalom City Mint creates its money. They are, in an extremely literal sense, infinitely valuable. Taking them would mean chaos for the city, a permanent black mark on the bank's clean record, and a wealth of gold that would set each of you up for life. Uh, we're fine. We'd walk in, go to the vault, open the vault, take the, take the stuff, out we go. Everyone, no sweat. Everyone gets a coin. We'll never need to work another day in our lives. We're, all right. We're the bandana bandits. We got this. See you all on the other side. Good luck. And with that, the carriage pulls to a halt, uh, and the four of you step out onto the street and get into position to start the heist. So... Out of character, let me explain how this is going to work. Oh, God. Yep. So you are all now out the front of the bank. Um, are we flashing back to the blueprint room? <laughs> so we are using flashback mechanics for this heist. So each of you start out with two hero points. Um, those hero points can be cashed in 
yes, thank you, Campaign Coins, for the, for the uh, so uh, shiny. promo uh, hero coins. They're absolutely wonderful. Um, so, yes, you will start out with two hero, co hero points, hero coins. Um, you can cash one of those in at any point to trigger a flashback, um, and that will let you describe how you have been prepared for the obstacle you've encountered. Um, and we will play out that flashback and play out that preparation. And depending on how that resolves, um, your your obstacle will either be removed entirely, lessened, perhaps worsened, depending on how you roll. <laughs> um, and so that's the first thing. Um, to, to go over the basic uh, objective so that we can move things forward, you are to get into the bank, down to the vault, grab the master coins, and get out again. That's, the basic, like that's the basic flow. Basic In and out, flow. baby. In and out. That's <laughs> it. So um, we like it. I've started you all out the front of the bank, but don't feel too bad about retconning if any of you wanted to be in position beforehand. Um, we can just say that this was like early morning and you know, you got in the- We the, got into whatever. the area and now we're- Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is you scoping it out. This is it getting started. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so uh, if we're all good to go, you see the front steps of the bank, um, the classic stone steps leading up to you know, columns. It's a very classic- It's a very banky bank. Imposing like looking judicial building. Yeah, not very accessible. Um, uh, what you know is that there is only one way into and out of the bank, and that is the front entrance. Who staffs the bank? So what you what you know is that this is the bank of Abadar. So this is the Church of Abadar, um, and, and Abadar themselves are concerned with wealth and the law and merchant sort of ah. doings. That's so their, it's like that's their sort of area sort of, of religious place expertise. Of so worship like, as yes. where they worship capitalism. Abadar, Abadar the deity the is called Abadar of the first vault. They are meant to be the keeper of wealth, effectively. Right. So the churches that you find scattered throughout the world are usually operating as some form of either judicial or monetary function because that is their focus. So the main foyer of the Bank of Avatar is a surprisingly austere affair. Instead of gold and opulence, symbols of order and justice are carved into the sheer stone columns rising from the marble floor. The only ornamentation that stands out are two stone statues on either side of the space. The first on your left depicts Abadar in their judicial form, sword in one hand and law book in the other. Uh, and the other statue is a large set of scales, apparently weighted equally by a stack of gold bullion in one tray, also stone, sorry, uh, and a group of knights in the other. A colorful mix of merchants, nobles, postal workers, and common folk are moving throughout the space, and several are congregating around the tables and benches provided for the convenience of the bank's clientele. Across from the entrance, you can see several rows of people queuing in front of bank tellers, who are handling the vast flow of currency and promissory notes through cutouts in a long, reinforced piece of glass. On either side of this glass cutout, you can also see two doors, marked staff only. Finally, Flanking both the entrance and the teller stations opposite, you can see imposing looking figures in ornately dressed plate armor. A golden key is embossed on the center of their chests. These are the infamous Safeguard Watch, sworn protectors of the vault and fully fledged Knights of Abadar. Though these particular guards are dressed in their full ceremonial regalia, you know that they are all highly trained and very dangerous. And now, flashback time! Whoosh! <laughs> First of all, what, what, what does our planning room look like? What, what, what's the vibe? Are we like dingy, dingy, like no, warehouse like, with a swingy lamp? Or like, mm, is it like this in... this amazing tavern and we've got blueprints on the walls and bits of text and people <laughs> of interest, like on one side. red got, string. Lots of red string yeah. held yeah, in yeah. by thumbtacks. Nice the table's fireplace very disorganized. There's a bunch here. of paraphernalia. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, it's yeah. really evocative of the vibe of what we're doing here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it well, I feel like I don't know. Does Talus, our, Talus will have a, a a establishment ba of some kind where wherein you room. can plan. We've yes, got a, a back, back room. room. This is the back. Room. This is the back room. So we flash back to the back room. <laughs> Talus, Talus is standing in front of a long table, which you're all standing around. Uh, upon raid is a series of plans and things are pinned up on the walls, and they they point to a a schematic and say, "Your first task will be to get behind the teller stations and into the staff only area of the bank." This will be the trickiest part of the operation to do without arousing suspicion, as there will be eyes everywhere. You, the only access to the staff area is via the doors on either side of the teller stations in the foyer, uh, and this means that you will need to deal with at least one of the guards in order to make your way uh, past this first checkpoint. And so, flashback to the, to the present before you step out of the carriage. 
Befitting attire. Befitting attire. So um, everyone's cloaked in an illusion, shaping their clothing and worn items into one suitable for a particular occasion. What's your... I feel like they're wearing gray. I don't know. Whatever so you, the clothes So you walk in coordinatedly wear. at different times to avoid yeah. arousing suspicion. Heads down, everybody. You're, you're, you're about the space. One uh, postal worker runs up to uh, uh, Regan very tiredly and goes, Excuse me, yes, sorry, can I, can I just ask for some assistance just for a moment? Absolutely, like, friend. Some, um, the, I, the, the lines here is so long, and I have this letter from uh, the, the mayor that I need to deliver to um, the high priestess. Um, is there someone I can give it to that you can... Um, can you take it? I'm on my oh. way upstairs anyway. Oh, excellent. Th- thank you so much. No worries. All right. Good luck. Um, and he runs <laughs> off again. Flashback. Ooh. Where where are you for this flashback? Are you back in the planning room? In the, so? We're in the, we're back in back the planning room. room. Cool. Bees. So... <laughs> I think Al and Leonidas pretend to be contractors. Al is obviously the senior uh, with with their apprentice. Uh, their apprentice. Um, what is a good excuse? Bees. Yeah, kind of if we release bees, bees. <laughs> into the building, we will need to remove the bees. We need to call the apiarists. I can arrange for us all to be dressed as clerks in the foyer area. There's a fight. So that they won't check our ID as we pass through the door. And then we just go into the staff area. And if we move through it quickly enough, no one will suspect a thing. All right. I'm and a- we don't have to get bees. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to co- collect a thousand bees? How hard is it to collect a thousand bees? You can just it's summon a swarm. That <laughs> you can summon a swarm. Aren't you yeah. supposed to be a bard? I don't mess with bees. <laughs> Don't mess with Look, lots I of hear things, what you're putting apparently. down. Right. Definitely right. more straightforward. <laughs> Y'all are a lot less coordinated than I thought you'd be as a legendary heist crew. But it's been you know, eight years. I, I understand. You've got to shake off the cobwebs. That's on me. Uh, I've cobwebs. been a chemistry teacher for the last eight years. And I have so, tried to remove myself from this here life of crime. So, um, I would have thought being a high school chemistry teacher would have given you a particular skill at dealing with unexpected chaos, but, well. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Tensions are high. I'm a little nervous. This is costing me a lot of money. I don't like that. And do you think I'd be here if I didn't have to be here? I think we all have our own motivations. Okay, so what I'm hearing is we need two things. We need we need fake uniforms That's or, fine. or stolen uniforms and we need some way to cause a fight. So or, uniforms is easy. We can manufacture those. The, or I, we can walk up and I'll just cast befitting attire. Excellent. Does that work on, <laughs> Fantastic. on multiple people? Up or to just five you? willing creatures. Yeah. How long does Maybe. it last? One hour. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, babe. It's fine. So the, the, disguises, the disguises are sorted. <laughs> yeah. Great. Now you just need to cause a fight. What's your plan? So I have a ventriloquist string. So I think we can just bitch in several people, like say stuff Horrible to things. people behind other people and uh, get them to turn around and uh, cause All right. a fight that way. All right. Um, are you scoping any particular marks? I think when we get in, we have to we have to kind of play that by ear because mm. we have no way of knowing what kind of customers People. are going to be there. I like this play, and then uh, I think it's the most uh, okay. Hands off. incognito for for you all, if perhaps a little loud. Um, but we're quiet. Oh, exactly. Flash <laughs> forward to the present. <laughs> Whoosh. All right. Um. What. What what what's the crowd? What's the vibe what's, in in the What time the foyer? do you want it to be? I think it's probably 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So it's pre-lunch rush, Pre but post-morning lunch. rush. Yeah. Okay, so there's it's it's quiet. There's not uh it's not packed, but there is a, a decent number of people as it is, you know, a busy weekday's trade. Like 20. So the, the oh, lines no, 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 no. like long. like 100. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a, I don't know how big a place. Yeah, is. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's like six or seven stations and there's people queued up in front of them and then there's yeah. people milling about. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we'll say like uh, somewhere between 100 and 200 people. And like the general it's demographics? A big um all walks of life. There are you see nobles sitting at tables in the corner having tea discussing business matters. There are common folk going in and out to make deposits, postal workers milling about, you know, merchants filling out forms for yeah, loans. Yeah, are there some like some some 
some merchants milling, like a couple different groupings yeah, of merchants. Yeah, so uh, on one side you see there's tables arranged for people to have discussions and there appears to be like several important discussions going on either between merchants and acolytes as you, they negotiate loans or between business partners as a neutral meeting ground. Is there any that look particularly um, mobby? Roll me a perception. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what you. We'll see what you see. Thirty. Oh, one. Thirty-one. That's a pretty good roll. <laughs> Thirty-one is more than sufficient. Yeah. Okay. So there are two. Um. Uh. uh they appear to be wealthy-looking merchants uh, uh, seated at one of the tables that appear to be in a very terse discussion about some business matters. Yeah. Um. And you can see one of them is quite a large, um, uh, orc-ish figure. Um, and the other, the other is a, a, a dwarf, um, and they are sitting across from each other, um, passing papers and, and pointing to things and having a very, you, you get the vibe that they're, they're kind of perhaps competitors or something, um, but you haven't, you haven't keyed in on the details of their conversation yet, but they seem very, uh, at odds with each other. So I'm going to use my ventriloquist's ring to... Um, and I'm going to watch these two for like a moment, for the right moment, when they're both kind of looking down at their papers and use my ventriloquist's ring um, kind of right near where the dwarf is sitting mm. um, and say, scum. And like really under quietly breath. under okay. the breath. We are not. That is <laughs> something. What does ventriloquist's ring say? Oh. Magically through does it my let voice. You, does it let you imitate the voice of another? No, but that is my specialty. You, you, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, all right. Uh, I guess then roll me a deception to see how well you... Kind of place the... Place the, place the, the mark at the right time. Yeah. Mm. That's going to be... Um, and technically I can roll performance as deception. Oh, yeah, okay. 30. 30. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, you, you see the, 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 the orc... Um, like pipes up and looks down at the dwarf and, and, and sort of like puffs up a bit and says, what did you just call me? <laughs> um, and the dwarf looks confused for a moment. And he's like, what, what, what are you talking about? I was looking at the, the, the B contracts. And then I'm going yeah. to... So you have them, you have them like, at the, the orc is like getting, getting up. Yeah, and then I'm going to telekinetic projectile all their papers off the table. Oh yeah? Yeah, just okay. like knock... Like, like as the orc yeah, as the as the orc stands up, shit. all the papers go flying, and yeah. the dwarf says, "How dare you! <laughs> My family has been working in this in this business for generations, and you're spitting in the face of commerce. Why, why, why?" And then they they stand up to their full height, which, admittedly, you know, dwarf and orc. <laughs> dwarf, dwarf and, orc. Uh, and they say, oh, "I guess we'll have to settle things." the old fashioned way and they roll up their sleeves. <laughs> this noble like takes off their watch, spends like two minutes taking off all of their gear, pulls out a white glove and just like slaps the orc across the face. I'll turn to a random civilian mm. and then be like, oh no, this looks like it's escalating. I need to run upstairs and alert the rest of security. Could you run over to that guard near the door and let them know? Yeah, there's a, there's a, a commoner walking by who's holding a, a coin purse clearly going to make a deposit and they see you and they go oh um uh, please yes, quickly yes of course of course sorry um and they run over and, and you see them go over and start talking to the to the guard as the as the 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 dwarf slaps the orc across <laughs> the face <laughs> the orc says i see meet me outside uh and then the dwarf, the dwarf goes, no, no, no. I think, uh, I think here is far enough. And they, he draws his rapier <laughs> and like points it. And they're, they're they're getting ready to, you know, have a classic duel um, for their honor. Um, and you see the the orc pulls out a, a bastard sword <laughs> <laughs> and just levels it. Um, uh, and they're clearly squaring off. And now people are like congregating Come. in to watch. Well, I'm like making my way around towards the door okay to wait for the mm -hmm. guard to like yeah yeah you see the guards all start to like notice um and uh one of the guards near the door like um uh, is is like looking over and you see the guy um that you spoke to come over and talk to him and he goes <laughs> and he, <laughs> he walks away from the door and like starts to go over and like break things up and you can see he's like calling over the other guards 
to come yeah. in. The two from the door like walk over as well. Um, so now's your moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm holding the letter and walking with purpose. Yep. No, all right, you and go I, for the classic clipboard. And I'm gonna like be like, oh, like like a stressed clerk, be like, oh mm. no, oh my okay. gosh, let I'm me still, get out of here. I'm still Just smoking, checking my watch. <laughs> but uh, my other hand is reaching for my um, my my thieves tools. In case the door is locked. In case the door is locked. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. You, oh, go, oh, you guys no. will be. All yeah. like all like clustered. I'm like. So you, Near the door. you you guys wander over to the door. You see some some people, some patrons of the of the bank look to you and like look to you for like. And we're like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 They, they start to get a bit unruly. The, the people inside in the lines like go to like they're like should we leave? But it's it's I, I've been waiting for like an hour. And they're like not sure whether to go or not. But they're all still standing there. Um, so the the people in the lines are like, a couple meters over there. Um, I'm gonna like pull some like keys out of my like thing and like fumble them oh, yeah, okay. at the door and like drop okay. them and okay. like just okay. kind of be yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, is, is anyone trying the door uh, I'll I'll we'll let you go first. Try the door while you're like fumbling, pretending to like. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Like I'll try it before I start. Like if before I like try to lock pick it in case it is actually open. Um. Yeah, it's not locked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put my. <laughs> I sadly, just put them away. Yeah. Um. All right. So that you you fumble through your keys, but then you you're yeah. like. <laughs> and we just the door the opens. Door. All right. You have successfully infiltrated the staff area of the bank. Good Step story. One. Needed more bees. Step one complete. <laughs> All right. The bees will we'll put some. Yeah, we'll put some bees in later. Flashback again. Whoosh. I would like some. Bees. All right. We're way back in the planning room. Talos is pointing pointing at the at the bank again and goes, "Okay, once now, once you've successfully infiltrated the staff area of the bank, you have to make your way through the winding offices and hallways um, to the vault access shaft um, at the rear of the offices." Um, at this point, mm. uh, I would advise, do your best to blend in and not arouse suspicion. Mm. Um, lash back to the present again. You are standing in a long hallway. Um, you have the plans for this area. You know that you have to continue down this this hallway for some time. Move through a break area um, and then down another hallway to the vault access shaft, which is just basically f- at the back wall of the bank. Break yeah. area as in like a place where employees go to have their breaks. Yes, yes, yeah. at the lunchroom. Cool. That's um, the place where they go to cry. <laughs> <laughs> to have their breakdowns. All right. Um, so you all, four of you are dressed in your acolytes robes. The, the office is empty for the moment. You can see the um, door to the teller stations is on your right, but they're all too busy watching the commotion. So for the moment, you're alone. So in, in this hallway, um, is it like still mostly like acolytes and clerks kind of milling about in the place? Yeah. So you can see like further down, there's the sounds of like type you know, uh, people typing and like people chatting in offices and things. There's like, it's, it's, uh, it's not quite open plan. It's more like, you know, doors to office spaces that hold multiple people in them. Um, but you guys can proceed down that hallway, um, towards your destination, which is the vault access shaft. I think the best approach is to walk with purpose. Yeah. Get extra in character. Mm -hmm. Excellent. In my clerk glasses. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) Cool. I'd like to cast um, Glibness. What is Glibness? Um, it is a spell um, that makes me real good at lying. Okay. Get a plus four. Mm-hmm. On deceptions? How on long is that last? deceptions to lie. Ten minutes. Okay. Last. You you walk with purpose down the offices, and as you round the corner into the break room, you hear a, a, a large group of people shout, Surprise! You see that, that, that there is a, a large number of people. It looks like maybe half the offices is assembled, packed into the break room. Um, and they're all wearing these little, like, pointy like, paper hats. Um, uh, and, and in the center of them is standing a, a middle-aged-looking um, acolyte um, who's holding a little, a little uh, uh, birthday card and there's a cake in front of them um, with a bunch of candles lit in it. And everyone's applauding them um, and we're like- happily. <laughs> yes. Um, and you see, you see uh, uh, as um, everyone finishes clapping, uh, another person walks up. Their, their garb is much more ceremonial, much more lavish. Um, uh, and, and they um, step forward and they say, yes, yes, thank you all for taking time out of your busy work days to come and uh, uh, celebrate Gwendolyn's uh, 35th birthday in the tea room with us. Um, yes. <laughs> Uh, Gwendolyn's been with us now for nearly 10 years and, and we're, we're very grateful for her service and so we thought we'd all get together and have a bit of cake and rouse up that old team spirit, you know? Uh, so everyone 
enjoy enjoy your cake, make your conversations, and 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 do remember this does count as your morning fifteen minute break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did Gwendolyn have to is. bring her own cake? Um, it looks like a store bought cake. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can roll me a, a, a society or religion check. Um, I feel like I would definitely. I've been to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to the bank. Eighteen. Okay, yeah, you, you, you would probably know. This um, person dressed in their lavish robes is um, a high justicar, um, Lennox, who is the head of the bank, basically. Um, who's, well, that's who's, who's, who's whose letter the... Regan is presently holding. Um, and so okay. with that, um, there's a space, it's very packed. Um, you are the only ones not wearing party hats. Where is the, is there Where's someone the on a table? Where's the stack of party hats? Um, you can't see them, no. There's not a stack anywhere. It appears they were handed out. I'm going to nudge the person next to me who is wearing a party hat and be like, I was running late. Where are the hats? Oh, um, didn't you? They sent out a memo last week with the little uh, package. What day? It was uh, uh, Chorn's Day. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick on Chorn's Day. Now I feel ridiculous because I'm not wearing a hat. Oh, um, uh, are you are you making a plea for, for a hat perhaps? Uh, yes. And roll me a persuasion check. Which is to look oh. pitiful, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this giant, <laughs> muscly. Technically, it would be deception, but yeah, they're the same for me. Yeah. A twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah. He goes. Uh, oh. Um. I just really don't like standing out, and obviously, it's hard to not do that. I. They seem rather, un- they don't really know what to say to that. Um, uh, I think they want to avoid a workplace incident. So they're like, um, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, sure, take take mine. I, I have to duck off early to get back to work anyway. Uh, you sure? I'll bring you a piece of cake. Oh, uh, I don't want you to miss out. I, I'd, I'd love that. I'm just down in um, C23. C23. Thank you so much, um, C23. What was, what was your name? Actually, I, I don't think I've seen you around here before. I thought I knew everybody who worked here. Um, I'm pretty where? new. I'm part of the new recruit. I'm just still trying to I get see. to meet everyone. What, what are you working in? I'm still trying to find my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> but what was your job? Oh role? dear. Oh, just the... clerk out the front. I see. Okay. Uh, oh dear. Uh, ro- roll a, roll another deception check for me. God damn it! Why did um, you talk to someone? Yeah. <laughs> as just... this is as this is happening, I'm going to take off. I assume, I don't know, maybe there's a hat that just comes with the clerk uniform, and I'm going to take off my hat, hat of disguise it. It's now a party hat. You probably have a bag of hats anyway. Well, I just changed my hat into a hat of disguise. What did you get for your deception check? 24. 24. Oh, wow, okay, nice. 26. Um, Sorry. Right, clerk, yes, uh, of course, sorry. I, I, we're, we're on a big hiring push and it's hard for me to keep up. I just, no, I just not at all. In, I just work in logistics. It's know, nice to make new friends though here. We've um, been smoking here, right? Yes, sorry, what was your name? Oh I, didn't, I didn't quite catch up. Jacob. Uh, Jacob, yes, uh, I'm Harry. Nice to meet you, Jacob. Nice to meet you, Harry. Okay. I'm going to, C23. C23, yes, Excellent. Cool. absolutely. I'll catch you around. <laughs> uh, they give you awkward finger guns and then they sidle off. So I have a hat, you have a hat. Cool. Um, <laughs> you, and you have a whole room of people to get past. What is your play? The letter. Oh, excuse me, I just need to drop this off. Oh, okay, you're going up to the, the high justice car, are you? What could go wrong? Yeah, so uh, where where's mm. the exit? Like, where do we need to go in this room? You just need to get past the break room to the other side. Yeah. Oh, see this. Nice. Is there a... I'm just going to... you just going to walk through walk with purpose? Through. I'm yeah, just okay. going to walk through with purpose. Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, I'm not actually off. going up to the... You're using it as an excuse just to like, get oh, through. Just, just got to move. Okay, through cool. space. Um, yeah, people start to move out of your way. Um, I'm going to... All right. Um, yes, okay, you... you uh, uh, but move. we're like million. I see Gwendolyn and I go, happy birthday. And like, just like kind of <laughs> She like has and never like, seen you before, yeah. but is like, oh, uh, uh, th- thank, uh, thank like you. Like just like fully in passing and like just keep... <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> All they should see is just like kind of gray Rogue, acolyte Rogue. Yeah, uniform it's just like and a, a party it's hat. It's just a glance on the side. <laughs> Regan, as you're waving the letter oh, come on. around. Um, the... You're making choices, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, y- y- you see, just for a moment, you see the, the high justice car like look at you um, and like clock that you're like waving a letter to get through this space, um, but they don't do anything for the moment. 
Okay. Just so as an FYI, at all times from this point on, I've been concentrating and my glow has dimmed. I'm just really Regularly fucking... sort of ashy. <laughs> just really... You look gray. pale. Just grey. Like, people don't like looking at me. Is it oh, better okay. for yeah. me to do nothing at this point or to try and make it better? Do not. Do not. <laughs> no, it's yeah. I'm just imagining, hey, you know, done that woman who was trying to do the reprodu- reconstruction of the, like, Jesus face <laughs> and made it look like a <laughs> monkey. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm seeing. Hey, <laughs> Character agency. <laughs> do whatever you like. <laughs> Whatever, if you noticed that you got noticed, what, what would, would Jacob Leo, do? What would we not do? What would Leo do? Cons what do you, all the time. Yeah, what, I'm not smart. What, what is the play? You Because it can be whatever you want. I've got the dice. You, you can also, sheet. you can also, uh, we're you all here. You can just keep walking if you want. I'm panicking. <laughs> I've never robbed a bank before. <laughs> <laughs> but you've robbed what? people sorry, sorry, before. Sorry, Regan the character has, Regan, Regan the person has never robbed a character I've never before. robbed a bank before. <laughs> What's right. the... We're all here with like, you. you. know, conned people and Again, scammed people. It's... Has not, has not moved towards you, is still, like, with Gwendolyn in the center of the room, but you have just clocked that she's seen you holding the... Okay. The, the note, so... It's fine. Just, just keep, keep walking, walking, I guess. Okay, cool. Otherwise, all right. you all judge yeah. me for making it worse. Yeah, you, you, you keep you keep walking, uh, and you know, with your party hats and your pleasant conversation, you blend in and you make your way through the um, the office um, and then down the hallway um, to the vault access shaft. Now, uh, we flash back again, whoosh, uh, and we're back in the the the, the high planning room. And Talos is saying, "Now, the vault access shaft is your only way down to the vault level underground." It's a magically driven lift designed to accommodate two people and a levitating lift trolley used to ferry currency, bullion, or rare items to and from the vault's many safety deposit boxes. Uh, The lift can only be controlled from a security station on the main floor. Uh, Workers, um, acolytes of the church, will uh, enter the lift and request um, that they be transported down via a sending stone in the main lift itself. And then the security station will use clairvoyance to visually inspect them and confirm that everything is above board before uh, activating the lift. This way, the controls of the lift and the lift itself are maintained separate for security purposes. Right in front of you as you're approaching, you see the the um, lift. The lift, um, and uh, down the hall uh, further is a room that is the security station, and it is it is visually and physically isolated. Um, and that room is the main guards' like security station. So there'll be whatever you expect to find in a security station in there, um, is, uh... and they are the ones that have the lift controls. Sitting, sitting in a loading area next to the lift um, is a large crate with property of Talus Order written on the side. Flashback! Flashback! Flashback. Yeah, so if I, if I go into the security desk and disable the guards so that I can mm. send you three down. Al, thoughts? Uh, I just feel that we don't want to be making too much of a big deal out of things early on by knocking some guards out. If someone else comes into the security booth, then we're kind of dusted. So p- perhaps we could be a little mil- more low-key and if, if perhaps uh, we go in with a deposit, uh, uh, Talos, you could uh, make a deposit of some some large item that we could maybe hide in in, in some Ooh, ways that gets two of us in and then the other two can can pretend to be employees we can f- get id badges we can steal them forge them something along those lines I, and i do have a safety deposit box in the bank everyone at um, you know with a reasonable amount of wealth in this city does of course um, so that's well within my abilities to source a Carving up some variety, whatever you think is appropriate. Well, something large Big enough. Large. Uh, so, a large so, animal, maybe. Perhaps, mm. um, well, everyone likes uh, equine <laughs> statues <laughs> and, and things. I think um, that's where this was going. <laughs> <laughs> we cut to, you know, um, ten minutes after you uh, have infiltrated the church um, staff area you see Talos walk in with a large crate uh, and, you know, go up to the counter and make a deposit. Um, and they get a lift dolly and they wheel it, you know, the 
get the trolley and they awkwardly like lift it through the door. <laughs> um, or they, they probably have a larger door on one side and they can get yeah, stuff in. Yeah. But um, yeah, they get that in and it's it's now in the office somewhere. Um, and I could potentially, I could, you could just get a real job. I could be gained for, I could actually that would simplify see if I could things. con my way into. Bank is always looking for bright young acolytes. Actually work in mm-hmm. there. Flash forward from the flashback to a time shortly yeah, after yeah, that exactly. of the flashback. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you're sitting in a grey office room. Um, a clipboard with your details has been filled out. Um, some forged ID papers as well. The bank, um, the and bank clerk, cleric, the, cl- the clerk, cleric. Just before I enter this interview, yeah. I cast glibness. Yeah, okay. That's, <laughs> that's um, sits down and goes, thank you. Uh, sorry, it was... Um, oh, Tarragon Mumphrey? M- Mr. Mumphrey. <laughs> Uh, Miss, 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 Miss Mum- Mumphrey. Mrs. Mumphrey. <laughs> Mrs. Mumphrey. Um, I see here you're applying for the junior clerk role we have on offer at the moment. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Please tell me, what are your qualifications? Um, I have fairly good skills in, in numeracy. Um, I can count. <laughs> That's more than a lot of... That's more than a lot of that people. That is a good start. Do you have any <laughs> this formal is a education? Um, yes. I see here under under prior experience you've just written life. Could you expand upon that, please? Well, yes. So, as you know, Absalom, bustling city. I have um, moved about from merchant stalls, handed money back and forth, counted the money, banked my own funds. You know, I'm very familiar with the process of having money <laughs> and handing it <laughs> to other people. I see. <laughs> From my understanding, that is all that is required. You well, that's it. part of the job. Yes, I won't lie to you. It's a large part of the job. Mm-hmm. What specifically drew you to a uh, position at the church of Abadar, as opposed uh. to working for any number of the merchant guilds throughout the city. <laughs> they just don't have the same soul. <laughs> you know, Abadar really, it's the, you know, the, the money's in the right place, I think, <laughs> when it's with the Church of Abadar. I feel like, I don't, I don't trust my funds or or anyone else's funds to be anywhere else except of course in the vault of Abadar. That seems like the right place for it to be. Well we do do our best here, that is true. <laughs> um look, I won't lie to you, your application is not the strongest, but we'll see what we can do. Could you roll a diplomacy check for me? Yeah baby. Oh dear. I also uh, with your with your bonus. With performance and my yeah, plus four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stack them buffs. What you got? Is that a natural 20? It's a nat one. It's a nat one. It's a nat one. Oh, shit. And they say, You deserve that. <laughs> Is this your forwarding address here at the top? E- yeah. We'll, we'll contact you. So oh my god, in- what if you see that recruiter? Wait, did we? (laughs) Don't give me ideas. Did we fail the flashback? No, Um, no, there is other other stuff you can do, but you don't have. So basically, went. Oh well, I'll get a job there, and I went okay, Okay, and I did not get a job there. But the rest of the flashback was to. (laughs) Indeed. So, so (laughs) unless you want to spend additional flashback tokens here to resolve this in a different way, this plan has failed. Okay, but only partially. There, okay. is a, there is a deposit, so that bit still happened, but you don't have a job. You have set up the wooden horse. You can just go get into it. Yeah, I'm okay. not going to make that complicated yeah, for you. We're going to get into the horse. There's no one get in the horse. You came up with the... You get in the create. horse, Shinji. Get I put the hat on you. <laughs> I get in, I get in the horse. You get in the horse. You get in the horse. You guys get the trolley. You're wheeling the horse. Wheel into the elevator. Punch the intercom. Okay. Flashback. I think the easiest way forward is to still use the giant horse that we are squeezing into mm-hmm. and just use fake ID and papers or whatever we need to fake. Okay. So like use as much of the existing paperwork for the horse because that will all be real. Use as much of the existing schedule. We've obviously timed arriving at the bank 
So by the time we get to this point, a scheduled run of items going down to the vault will be occurring at this time. So that's Excellent. normal. Yep, 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 yep. Um, and the only thing that will be, and the papers will look real if we hold them up to the the video crystals. So how are you going to get the fake IDs? That's the only that's the only detail that's missing here. I me. have a plan. Ooh. What's the plan? I steal some IDs and then we alter them with thievery skills. Nice. Or Excellent. something. Misc thievery I, oh, skills. I have a spider. I mean, I have a guy who can oh, you, do forgery. Like you've got forgery Anadi. spiders as well. Forgery <laughs> oh, I've right. got people everywhere. Yeah. Right. That's really useful because there's, there's bank employees that often drink at the bar, stick and I work at. So Church we acolytes can known for hanging around uh, dive bars. Right. I'll, so when they're drunk, we'll just steal some IDs Excellent. and pass them to you. I mean, it's been eight years. I guess I could go see you perform again. Oh, it would be nice. Great. Love that. <laughs> All right. All right. Cut to the next evening and we're at the bar. Um, that you guys work at. What is it called? What's the bar called? The um, the the mole the moldy bloodhound. <laughs> the moldy bloodhound. The moldy bloodhound. Done. <laughs> no notes. Um, the moldy bloodhound. We're at the moldy bloodhound. You know, it's it's almost time for your evening set. Yeah. Um, what is your role here at this particular bar? I'm either security or assistant bartender. Okay, so you're probably you're probably getting these people drunk. You're probably yeah, underpaid. So I'm bartender tonight. And um, who's on the door then? Some other security guy. Okay. Who and, works. and you two are here. Are to... they here? I think you don't need to be here. No. You don't want to. You don't want to be a part of this one. Well, it's a school night. Good. Yeah. You're at the school night, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Are you then making the lift happen? Are you doing, oh yeah, are you I'll be doing, doing the, the lift. Pick, yeah, I'll be doing the pickpocket. Excellent. Yeah. I love this play. I think okay. Cool. I'm probably on um, stage. So I'll be chatting to them. Yeah. You're doing a performance. Drink lines, yeah. So drink there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm doing a rather raucous um, drag yeah. number. Yeah. I just, I don't actually do anything specific. I just oh, rip over my shirt. Just, it's just too, um, like. Googly eyes. <laughs> it's the, it's yeah. the reveal at it's the end the of the show. It's the reveal at the end of the show. And it's googly eye pasties. The end of it. We love yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are doing, causing a distraction then, which I believe is a... Oh, lengthy diversion. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I critically, yeah, it just keeps going. I can do it for ages. Okay. Do you just roll? Yeah. So, step one, diversion. Diversion. That's going to be uh, 27. Step two, Josh Abel and Bernice. Josh Abel and Bernice, yep. Yeah. Arrive at the bar. Come on, you know I should be cutting you off by this point. Mm. But you're regulars, all right, let's go one more round. Hey! I, I pull in. You're already completely trolleyed though, so play it, play it low key, yeah? <laughs> look me, okay, hey, both of you, uh, I need both of you to look me in the eye, Leo. take my hands. Are you, is your name Leo at the bar? Yes. Leo. Yes. You're my best friend. You're my best I friend. I love you so much. Love yeah, you. Your Can I have I'm another just like, for <laughs> you, Yeah, I will. So I'm, I've lined up behind. <laughs> that was your moment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I was letting you have your role oh, play sorry. moment. <laughs> and then I'll do your my role. thing. I had already, um, <clears throat> like, as they were okay. going up to line up, I pull up, like, behind them so that, mm -hmm. I, you know, mm -hmm. that I'll be behind them. All right. So with the diversion, the way that um, creative diversion works uh, is um, on a success um, you effectively can become hidden to those creatures. Their perception DC is low enough that you succeeded, so yeah, they don't notice you, basically, which yeah. means that you um, cool. have... I think that gives you an advantage to... Yeah. Uh, a bonus to your pickpocket? What's yeah, your, what's I, your, what's I your also have the pickpocket feet, um, yeah. which lets me steal or palm an object that's closely guarded uh, without taking the negative five penalty. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Um basically I will make the DC lower because they're distracted. Cool. So, um yeah, roll roll your um Am I doing two for two pockets? Or two lanyards? Okay. Let's 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 keep it simple here. Let's keep it simple. This is the lift. This is the thing that you do are on this team yeah. to do. Yeah. I'm also in some random disguise, by the way. Excellent. Perfect. Just they okay. they are not aware of you. Cool. That Thanks. is thirty three. Excellent. Amazing. Um, you absolutely, like, effortlessly, this is just, this is nothing to you. Two of your arms just, like, 
just lift those badges. I'm I'm looking at the the googly eyes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> Excellent. So we've got our little tags. You got your tags. You've got fake IDs. You wheel into the elevator. Punch the intercom. Beep. And you hear a boom. Hello, sorry. Um, uh, the 10, 10, 10.35 going down? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, yes, please. Cool. Um, one sec. And the doors, and you go, yes. Um, this was so complicated. So, <laughs> uh, no, that's the that's the point. That's that good heist shit. That's good heist, good heist, good heist shit. Good yeah, heist so shit. you guys are in the lift heading down, and you head down and down and down and down. And down. It's Her smooth stone deep. either side of you, by the way. The lift is magically levitated. There is no mechanism. It's not got walls. No, it's not got walls. It's a platform. It is a platform. <laughs> um, that I, think is, we, I think we went over this. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. a platform, <laughs> and there's, like, this much gap on either side. It I is, like, like enough, tightly built. Enough for a spider to fit through, but, like, a normal-sized spider. Normal-sized not, spider. Not a mummy It's not going down. Not a mummy long legs. It's not, it's not fast. Don't worry. The walls aren't whizzing past <laughs> you. But it is moving down. Yeah. Um, and you go, you go down for what feels like a good little while and, and you at the bottom and you look up and you can see, you know, a couple hundred feet up is a, a light uh, shining in mm-hmm. from the door um, up as, this shaft. As the walls are going past, can I can I put out one of my cigarettes on the on the walls? <laughs> yeah. <You're- laughs> Wait, have you come out of the horse? We should still be in the oh, horse. Oh, we're still in the horse. You hear, this, you hear this? I'm smoking inside the horse. <laughs> <laughs> The horse is like <laughs> this oozing because the because the way I'm imagining this horse is that it's like sitting down. So there's a carving of a horse and just the horse yeah. body, yeah. and just like out of its nostrils is just this smoke <laughs> billowing. Just here, out of it. There's a little yeah. hole out the back underneath. And, the then, and yeah, and one little one at the at yeah. the rear as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the point of that was, but I love that. Um, and you at the bottom, yeah. Um, and in front of you is a uh, just bare stone passage tunnel leading to uh, another door. Now, here is where things get a little complicated, I'm afraid. Um, between the exit from the elevator shaft and the vault door itself are a series of security checks. Now, unfortunately for us, the only thing that we know about these systems is that they are regularly updated uh, and changed by the uh, staff on hand at the bank. So for this part of the operation, I'm afraid, you will have to figure things out as you go. Um, as we don't know what you're going to encounter down there. Flash forward again. Long hallway, door. Uh, so there are- Perception at the very least to yeah, see if there's anything. Oh, I think I have trap finder. That would help. Oh, that would help. That would yes. be great. <laughs> it's only 17. Ooh. Young and sweet, mm. but sadly not sufficient. To see anything no. of use. Well, I suppose, um, we we just start wheeling this thing down to the to the door and I got a twenty nine. You're still in the horse. Traps. Amazing! There are no traps in this hallway. <laughs> it's just a stone hallway. Well, no, yeah, I I, I was in, I assume I got out of the horse. Okay, yeah, 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 you guys. Horse. The horse is the, the the pretense of the horse is unnecessary. <laughs> the horse is gone. Can like. You could keep the trolley and keep wheeling the horse along I if think, you want. I keep just it. think it's a think, useful thing to yeah, <laughs> cool. I'll keep All right. the horse. That's fair. It's plausible deniability. We I, we push the horse in front of us. Yep. Yeah. Down That's fair. the hallway. <laughs> you get to you get to this large door and you swing it open and you step through the door into a pentagonally shaped room. Um, in front of you is a uh, four walls with a door on each of them, um, and obviously the wall, with the door through which you are arriving. Um, in the center of the room. Um, there is a series of steps down to uh, a central point um, uh, in the center of the room. Below the, the height of the doors, there's a small stone pedestal. Um, and that's all you see for the moment. With trap finder, I don't have to be specifically looking for traps to roll for traps. Oh, To I look see. for traps. Okay. So... You just know if there's traps? Yeah. Even if I'm not searching, I get to check to find traps that normally re- require you to be searching. You just sense them traps. Yeah. Nice. My my arachnid sense. All right. <laughs> so roll roll Eyes. roll for me. Tell me what that tell me what that comes Ooh. out as. A 23. That is just enough. Whoa. Um you're very good at Sensing traps. Um, I am. <laughs> that arachnid sense. <laughs> yeah. 
all the doors in this room are trapped. Nice. Wait, how many? Is there a door on every wall? There's four. Yeah, there? there's, there's, well, yeah, there's the four in front of you and the one you came in. Um, um, all of the, all of the doors are like you get a tingle from each of them. That's all I'll give you. What? That's it. Up with the pedestal though. Um. Or do I have to get closer? Uh, it. You don't get a a sense from the pedestal. Okay. Do we know in which direction the vault is? You do not. I don't like that. Before we close the door behind us, I'm going to, like, shink out a nail and just scratch a little line into it. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to look at the pedestal. Okay. Yeah, I'd also like to look at the pedestal. All right. Just a normal perception check. Symbols. Nat 20. Nice. Excellent. Nat 20. Yeah. 20. Dirty 20. Excellent. There is, a, so. there is an inscription on the top that... Um, is hard to make out at a distance, but from where you are, you can see it, and it reads um, B A uh, colon one colon twenty six. Right, someone write that down. <laughs> Sorry, that should be um, capital B lowercase O capital A. Oh, B O A B O A. There's a little o, a little oh, O in the middle. Bank Sorry. of Abaddon. That makes sense. Abaddon. 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 And Abadar, Abadar. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, B O A colon one colon twenty six. Mm-hmm. Twenty six letters in the alphabet. Is that relevant? Who knows? Which alphabet? <laughs> <laughs> Whose alphabet? <laughs> Whose alphabet? In the common alphabet. Can I roll perception uh, at the doors? Yep. Uh, see if there's any. Please do. Distinctive features. <laughs> Those fifteen. Yikes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not hard. There's a, a, a sigil on each door. Each door uh, has a different sigil. From left to right in front of you, there is a coin, a sword, a shield, and a lantern. Um, it's and, a tarot card. <laughs> What's on the door behind us? Uh, a, a group of people. A crowd. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll roll oh, on it. It's probably like a, like out of character, it's probably like a bank, a uh, Bible, like yeah, it'll be no, yeah. in the their book. In the book of okay. Abaddon. In the book of Abaddon. All right, then you yeah. can give me a knowledge religion. Lucky I have if... one in my pocket. Or you would flash have if you'd have back. passed your job interview. <laughs> no, we should do a flash. Um, to have a flashback. Well, we don't to have, have to. read about the Bank of Abaddon. <laughs> we actually might need to, to. recall. Well, yeah. Can I we'll recall see, we'll knowledge see. instead of? It's well, still religion. It's knowledge it's still, religion. Yeah. 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 Well, you got a plus two. If, yeah. yeah, see how you go. If you don't, I mean, like, I mean, actually, untrained. spend the flashback token to have done your research. Yeah, let's do or, that. Or or wing it and or, hope. Or make a roll. Mm. Spend the token or make a roll. Token. Who's got flashbacks left? I've got one. Do you yeah, yeah, three yeah. have all used one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al is the only one who has not yet used I one. Mean, so. so we've still got five you're, between us. You're the researcher. I mean, I'm the bomb person, but if, all right. I mean, you're the teacher. So. <laughs> okay. I teach chemistry, not philosophy and religion. Flashback. Boom. So as this for, is a religious bank, As right? for what you might <laughs> encounter in terms of things you will need to know, this is the bank of Abadar. It is a church. Wow. Um, I'm glad we know that before I'm, going I'm in. I'm sure, right? I'm sure Al here has many a high school textbook on the knowledge uh Required uh, the required reading you can make about the religion of Abadar and its precept, uh, precepts and edicts and, and all that nonsense. So yeah. make sure you do your homework um, uh, because you will likely need it. The mm. homework has been done. Indeed. And flash forward. Whoomph. Okay, <laughs> cool. Um, because you spent the, the flashback token um, <laughs> on... In, reading, a, in, a, in a weird the, like the Abadar homework, Bible. Reading the Abadar <laughs> Bible, I guess. Um, here yeah. is what you Seems know. Yeah. Um BOA uh, 126 is book the Book of Abadar, like... Yes. Um, book of Abadar. 126. You were yes. What is 126? Um, like? And 126 uh, is uh, one of the sort of um, codes that the church um, runs by, or one of the things laid down by Abadar. And, and what it says is, for the, better, for the betterment of society, first seek not your own advancement. Oh. Mm. Mm. So not... The coin or the sword or the other shield two? and lantern. Shield or lantern, potentially. Shield is shield is about defending. Combative yeah. though. I reckon the lantern. I think, but so. the lantern is like 
could be symbolic of, you know, a bright Wayfinding. idea. Or yeah, like... but Abadar is the um, deity of knowledge yeah, and yeah. wealth. Hmm. And a yeah. lantern could be Illum- lighting the illumination, way. Illumination, yeah. Illumination. Lighting the way for others as well. Now I'm going to mage hand <laughs> yeah. the lantern door. You're going to mage hand the lantern door? I'm going to ma- open it with mage hand. Okay. You... Or I'll see how that goes. So I can give it a little tippy tap. You touch the door with the mage hand and nothing happens. Um, turn the little knob. As you turn the handle, there is a clunk. An ominous clunk or a friendly there's, there's clunk? A, there's a clunk. <laughs> um, you tug on the door. doesn't open. <gasps> and you push on the door. It also does not open. It's, it's always good to check. <laughs> <laughs> and then there is another clunk. Oh, no. And another clunk. No. <gasps> and uh, as you... Uh, What's clunking? <laughs> here... A series of, of, of mechanisms move and fall into place. The room, like, shudders, mm. and some dust falls from the ceiling. <laughs> um, and then with a final loud whump, um, spikes just chink yep. in from the ceiling. Love it. Um, and then the ceiling starts to... Wonderful. Grind good, slowly good, good, down good, good, towards good, good. towards the floor. Cool. The, yeah. So the way this is going to work is the, the the floor starts moving and then we're in initiative order. Yep. Um, the ceiling starts moving, sorry, and then we're in initiative order. Okay. Anyone who wants to try and determine how much time you have available, you can do that. But there will be a set number of rounds before it hits the, the, the ground. Cool. And yeah. you are all smush. Um, I, I have something called Time Sense, mm-hmm. which is a cantrip. Um, I... I when I cast a spell, I gain a perfect sense of time. I can learn exactly what time it is down to the second. So specifically, I can know at all times what time it so actually you can, is. So, so you can gonna, watch it So I your, your argument is that you're going to be able to perfectly determine its velocity and then infer. Infer. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. And <laughs> does that cost an action? Too? It's just, yeah, one action. Okay. So the first action you use as the first person in this initiative order is to determine how long it is. Till we have before You have we get three crushed. rounds. Great. Okay. Like 18 <laughs> seconds? Yeah. <laughs> Eight, yeah, which is about the right amount of time yeah. I feel for something to like fall from the ceiling fall slowly, from the ceiling. with dramatic timing, of course. And I go, we don't have very <laughs> much time, and I start moving towards the shield door. Um, if you were okay, anyone who, anyone door. who was at the people door will mm. take it will take two actions to reach any of the other doors. Leo and I were at the pedestal, but if you're mm. at the pedestal, you can get there in one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you it'll be two actions for you to get to the shield door, and then you're you're at the shield door. Okay. All right, Al. All right, I'm running to the pedestal. Well, if I try the door behind me, is that... Are you trying the door behind you? I, oh. It's your turn. I just, best life. I just want to try and see if we can still get out. Like, okay. I'm cool. go- About can the- I, like, see if I can push it open and then run? Uh, it's got a handle on it. You have to push open it. Okay, cool. I'm going to do that. I'm going to open... I want to see if I can open this door. Cool. Yeah, it opens. Oh, well, there you go. See ya. Was that, this a trick? That door opens, and you can go through it if you wish. Was this a trick, though, that you seek the betterment of others, and that's a door of people, and they're others, and we were supposed to, like, go into the room and then leave that room? Was that... Maybe. Oh! What are you doing? For you the, have two For the betterment of society, first seek not your own advancement. So not to advance. There's other... There's people. That's other. That's not your... We're all we're go, we're there with you. <laughs> we're there. It's your turn. <laughs> you you have two more actions. The door in front of you is open. Ah! Do you want okay. to hold your action? Do you want to hold your action? Yes. Then? Okay. <laughs> cool. Let uh, you you can what what action are you readying? Because you've already used your turn. So like, what's the trigger for you can ready an action? Um, yeah. Ready to run? Yeah, so yeah. you can ready a, you can ready a move action, and the trigger can be you know the door doesn't open or the door does open. Yeah, a, a door opening. Okay. okay, so you use your remaining two actions to ready a stride. Excellent. Cool. Done. Who's yeah. next in the initiative order? Me. Okay, what are you doing? So yeah. I'm wasting an action to stare at it because that's what if I you had wa- okay, you previously can, you, decided. You don't see anything new. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's definitely nothing going on there. Um. Yep. And so now you've got you know um, Al's got that door open. Yeah. Um, uh, stick is at the shield door. Um, the lantern door has been activated, so there is just the sword and the coin. I will also use my remaining two actions to ready kind of a stride, and I'm just okay glancing yeah. between all right Al and shield door. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah use an action to go to the shield door. Okay. Um, interact to open. 
Okay. You go, just go touch it. All okay. right. Um. Okay. So yeah, then roll me your perception. Uh, twenty-four. It you you see when you go to touch just before you touch the door handle, you see that it's actually connected to like it doesn't look like it's connected to a door a latch. latch. Right. Um, and you see the door itself is not like a door. Um, so you just just as you're reaching down to the handle, you notice that it doesn't. There's not like a clear okay, yeah, separation yeah, yeah. between the door and the, the stone wall. And you pull your hand away. So yes, that one is trapped. Not this one, stick. Um, so you have one, one action. action left. And then you've yelled your thing. Y'all, it, this door's still open. <laughs> we have time. I'm gonna check uh, the Do sword it. door. Okay, so you move so, to the sword door. Uh, I use my last action to move to the sword door. Yeah, yeah so it was coin, sword, shield, lantern. So yes, you can move to the sword door. That's the next one over. Yep, so you can cool. get there in one action. Yep. That's fine. Oh. Top of the round. Yeah, I, Sierra, I think Al's right. I think Al's right. I think <laughs> we, we got to get out of here and I'm going to stride. Your, 30, you, your move is 35 feet? 35 feet. Okay, so you get to the door. Can you make me a perception check? <sighs> be a uh, 20, 29. Yeah, this is a different hallway. Look, I knew it! <laughs> this is not the same stone hallway. It's That's very the... similar because it's just a stone, a stone hallway. hallway. Yeah, I but go... this is not the same stone hallway. No, no, I go, I go, Sira, no, this is it. This is a different... <laughs> okay. That's uh, my ready action. Was the... uh, right at right. the end of that round, yeah, it was, it was you know, yeah. a third of the way down to the floor. So you're th there, you can go through. Yeah. Your action triggers, you can go through. Mm -hmm. Your action triggers, you can get to the door. Um, uh, I... What's your move speed? You said it was 30 I'm feet. I'm five foot shy of the door. Yeah, okay, cool. You're right next to the door, yeah. If, if it's only two actions to get to the door. You, if you spend all three actions, you will get through the door. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I've got 35 feet, so. Easy, yeah, yeah. You're, you're through the door. Yeah, cool. cool. I do that. Cool. I mean, at, at this point, yeah, you, you've got enough actions left that everyone can get through the door. Yeah. So yeah. you all get through the door and the, the, the spikes go. Mm, you slam, you, you the, slam door the, door the door shut and then from underneath, it's just like a, poof, a little burst of, um, and the, 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 the like from embedded in the wall, there's just some like red, and oh. blue stones that are just glowing. <laughs> uh, we really got to sound. Oh, like I suppose they'd be yellow. And yeah, there's 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 no. Uh, yeah, there'd be an alarm sound. What's the what's the alarm sound for the bank? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually several small roosting birds yeah. in the corner of every attention, room, and attention. they go. Ah, ah! Acolytes. Attention, attention, acolytes. Have you heard when you pick up a chicken well, that it's gone clucky? A vault heist yeah. is in progress. Because I think we should probably keep a lid on that. So I have an idea to potentially get rid of the alarm. We're doing a flashback for the yeah. alarm? I love it. <laughs> Great. We, yeah. we cool. knew we were going to so set we're through it So we're through that. All right, before we go to the next thing, bam, here we are. Flashback. The alarm, the alarm is flashback. off. The alarm so, is off. Maybe. Now, I'm I not... Ta you, you hear Talos, uh, Talos yeah. looks across the table from him and says, now, I'm not going to cast dispersions at your skill here. You are a legendary caper crew, and you know, far be it for me to tell you how to do your jobs, but... What is your plan in the event that you do happen to set off the alarm? The butterfly bandits do not set off alarms. Listen, I'm uh, once again, far be it from me to tell Except the baked good I mean, bandits how to do their time. job. And the, then that other time in... in and, but, yeah. Well, I just think we should we have a contingency plan. We do not set off more that last time. <laughs> uh... So what we know of the alarm system is that it's a series of uh, magically linked um, message stones, basically, mm. um, that are all triggered from a central location. How about? Um, yeah, what was your idea? Set up a um, the the practice uh, um, drill. drill a drill a drill yeah it's a drill we we make we we schedule the heist for the day that there is a heist drill scheduled mm, because of course they run drills right? because of course they've they never have been to robbed run drills. but they 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 their 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 commitment to security is none everyone has to be ready I've seen constant that. vigilance I've seen that every single bank. Uh, I'm probably listing some that are relevant to Galarian right now. So how, <laughs> how, are you, how, how are you going about arranging for this to happen, this drill to occur? I think um, we go in like ahead of time as like a security contractor 
to um, just be like, hey, it's your, you like, you know, six monthly security checkup. Um, Are we're you just in disguise going to for need, this? Yeah, I think of course. so. Rather than rather than trying to like, I don't know, because you can you could you could potentially be from whatever contract they normally get, or you could be trying to convince them that it's a good time to do a drill yes. if they have not done one. You're worried <laughs> that the message stone spells um, are they can r- coming up to their in. expiry yeah, yeah, yeah. and you, you want to check so within the warranty period. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so who them. is their contractor? I like this cover idea of you trying to like win a contract off them. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good, like, that's a good way to do it. If that gets you useful okay. information, that yeah, works we're just as well. Trying, we're just sourcing information. Yeah, yeah. But you can play the angle whatever you want. So you're, you, you are, here's the thing then. You're in... Justicar Lennox's office. Yeah. So hi, Justicar Lennox is sitting behind their desk in their ceremonial robes, and they have some little like reading specs on. Um, and they 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 look across me and they say, "So you were with, sorry, what was your company name again?" We're from your secure security betterment uh, offices. We're uh, going security around to all. Security betterment offices. N- it's new. Okay. It's very new. Uh, we're going around to all of the high security locations, you know, just offering a complimentary checkup and uh, consultation on security systems. I see. Uh, you know, I see. just, you know, we, we, we want to make sure that everybody's got, uh, it's all up to scratch for everybody. And, you know, we'd love to help you out if you, uh, you know, you know, if you are uh, running your drills and doing your checkups, you know, those uh, message stones, they can, uh, they do have an expiry date. So if you were looking at uh, refreshing uh, your security system, we could definitely help you out with that. You know, uh, we're b- very big in Ustalov. In Ustalov, you know? I see. Yeah. Yeah. Ustalov. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Now, I, um, I'm sure you can understand uh, this is um, rather unusual. We're not used to having to well let me be blunt you, you don't you don't do regular you, checkups on your security system they'd require uh, very high oh, maintenance oh no 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 uh, no we have strict requirements about uh, compliance and policy in this organization what i'm what i'm getting at miss um sorry what was your name uh, mr mr <laughs> every time <laughs> whatever you say will be my my my, my, my my sincerest apologies, Mr. Uh, Gerald Jenkins. Mr. Gerald Jenkins. Jenkins. Me- Jenkins. Uh, Mr. Jenkins. Um, I'll be I'll be blunt with you. Uh, we have never had a notable security incident yet. N- yet. Do you Do you know how long this bank has existed? Well, I have to take a Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> do you, I do. Do you though? Yeah. Many, many years. Well over 3,000 years. Yeah, that's Mr. plenty. Uh, do you run do you regular know, drills? Do you know how much... You know, every what? Do you know what the dollar value is we've had stolen from this building in 3,000 years, Mr. Jenkins? Well, I would hope I, zero. I will tell you, it is zero. Well, that's very good. We are the most secure place. I'm going to um, make a shameless request. Um, and I'm going, well, you know... I, I personally bank here with you. And it would just, you know, it would put set my mind at ease if I if I were just to know that you are regularly updating and testing your security systems. I know that you have a very high reputation, but um, you know, personally, I, it doesn't show. It, it would do me a lot of good if I could be assured that this bank is of the utmost security. And how does shameless request work? Um, I <laughs> so I reduce and reduce any DC increase. So making an outrageous request, which is yeah. essentially asking <laughs> about yeah, their security system. What's, what does it do? Um, it reduces the DC by two. It lets me roll to make a request okay. for someone. All right. Action. All right. All right. Twenty-two. Okay. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> And uh, the single tear. <laughs> all right, all right. Whoa. She, she, she looks at you and she sighs and she says, Look, I, if nothing else, respect the ability to put aside all sense of self-worth and dignity for the uh, 
betterment of one's <laughs> business standing, that kind of ruthless, Heck. careless oh. attitude towards your station shows a we have nothing else commitment to your business acumen. Well, so what can I say? That is, that is an Others admirable quality. An I will be frank with you. We do not want your services. But I am willing to give you one more opportunity. We are running a drill, as you know. We regularly oh, run drills very every cool. uh, on a regular schedule, as I'm sure you could assume. Um, on the date of our next drill, I will invite you and two of your most trusted security advisors on site to observe at a distance, mind you, um, I can't, I'm afraid I can't give you access to any of the uh, systems or uh, highly restricted areas, but at a distance, you may at least observe this drill, after which I expect a full report. And if that is up to scratch, and you make a good case for where we can perhaps improve, I will consider it. That would be very much appreciated, ma'am. I will forward the details on uh, to your company. Oh, thank thank you very much. (laughs) Now get out of my office. (laughs) Um, and so All right. they, <laughs> on the day of the drill. Yeah, yeah. So they, if they forward it, then we just reply with a be like, "I'm so sorry, my wife has fallen very ill, and I will not be able to attend." Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the way this is going to work is, you have bought time. It will take longer for people to realize that this is not a drill. Yeah. Um, so yeah. initially, everyone's response is, "Oh, the oh, drill." Here we go again. <laughs> you know, the, the the last remaining stragglers from the party who've stayed at the break room far too long yeah. are dispersing, trying to look like they were at their offices the whole time, and rush out, being like, "What's going on? I was busy working." Yeah. Um, <laughs> and people are uh, going to their reported stations to check in. And yeah. um, what but the thing you? is, is that so people will be doing the things that the alarm going off. Would do just slowly, just and slower. Without care. Yeah, yeah. So the 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 the, that, sec- the security will still come down and check. The police will still be called. It will just take a lot longer for it to happen. Yeah, the security will meander down. Exactly. And have a chat as they're walking. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're eating cake yeah. and they're taking it slow and whatever. Well, I um, think that's worth it. Yeah. yeah. yeah so cool. <laughs> that's good. So. The next hallway. Finally, in front of you, we reach the main event. Uh, flashback, we're back at the Tiny Temple mm-hmm. again. The vault door. Expect heavy resistance at this point. If you haven't already had to do any fighting, then at the, uh, then by now you almost certainly will, so be ready for combat at a very minimum. I expect a strong guard presence. As for the lock itself, the mechanism for the vault door, details are scarce. Uh, not for any security reason. It just was designed three and a half thousand years ago, which makes finding paper records of it rather difficult. Um, all we have is a small fragment of what appears to be a drawing for the key mechanism. Um, and Talos at this point holds up a drawing, what appears to be multiple keyholes arranged in mm. a sort of like, they're, they're sort of a long um, and a little um, kind of like, they, they get a little wider at either end and there's sort of several of them mm. um, in kind of a pattern. Remember, once you're inside, you will have to find the safe containing the um, Absalom's master coins. Um, acquire them and then get out so good luck safe within a safe and so you prep for a fight yeah um, what's and you, here what's... you you round the corner oh, um, can, uh, before we round the corner no, I'm going to pull fine. out my periscope from my coat pocket mm-hmm. and look around the corner because I know I that, that the vault's around the corner right mm-hmm. look, yeah you peek yeah. around the corner there's nobody there oh. there's a big old vault door and like one chair one chair. There's just a chair. So there's no the guards. There's no guards. Sus- the alarm is going Bishion. off still. There's no guards. There should have been guards. They did say there would be guards. Did you say there Is it an there? illusion? Yeah. Um, Tala said it was likely you would expect heavy resistance. Yeah. Stick. Come look through here. Better look. Have a little looky. It's an empty room. I think um, they've just gotten complacent. I mean, it's been 3,000 years. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's been Imagine 3, 000, paying yeah. people to sit in this corridor for 3,000 years. Yeah, I mean, they, well, they wouldn't live that long, so you'd have to keep getting new people in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. round the corner, 
as you get closer to the vault door, you can see there is one dusty looking chair off to the side. Yeah. Um, and it's dusty. Yeah, it's dusty. They've um, definitely gotten complacent. Uh, <laughs> uh, and and by, by the chair are some bones. Nope. Uh, and as uh, you approach, mm -hmm. they Animate. start to rattle. Oh. And uh, <clears throat> standing up in front of you um, boy. is uh, the figure of a skeleton who, yeah, rises to their full height and, and looks at you. We're, st we're still dressed as clerks. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, well, I mean, yeah, you're all still dressed because they, they rise and say, um, the skeleton looks at you and goes, oh, howdy gang, wasn't expecting uh, the four of you. That's a bit unusual. Uh, what, can, oh. what can I do for you this morning? Well, I just got down here at the same time. It was a really weird I'm still putting my periscope back in my coat. <laughs> oh, oh, I've just noticed the alarm is going off. Do you guys happen to know anything um, about that? It's a drill. It's drill, it's day. drill day. It's a drill. It's drill day. They usually they not send the guards down with the drill. Well, what are you guys? Well, we were down here. When, oh, you happen to be down here. And now we're, we're stuck down here because the lift deactivated. There's a horse. The, you know what I mean. There's a, a horse. Given, given that That's we're supposed one. to be uh, going back up because of the drill, obviously, look, you know, we're going to have to come down here again and pick up what we were supposed to be picking up for, for the customers up top. Yeah, usually uh, you guys have, like, a bunch of bags and a lift trolley. Exactly, and exactly. Um, I don't suppose you could save us the trouble of uh, having to go back up for the drill and then come back down after the drill's over and we can just, you know, just pop in. We can get what we need for our customers and then... Oh, we'll you're go. making a withdrawal rule. Yes, yes, right, yes. sorry, sorry, sorry. Two different... Two different, two different withdrawals at the same time. Yeah. Those, yeah. those nobles well, just with their un, un... They've got a lot of gold and... Between the drill and the birthday it. party, oh, the yeah. schedules have gotten a bit missed yeah, up. Yeah, oh, 35th were birthday you, today. Weren't you invited to the birthday party as well for Gwendolyn? It's the 35th today. Oh, There's I... cake in the break room. Where? Well, when we go up for the drills, maybe you'd like to oh, come up with Oh, us. no, that's not... They, they can't, Are you sure? You, don't be insensitive. They can't eat. You would... You would know that I can't, right? Oh, of course. Of course. Sorry, yeah. I, I just, I think it's like Al? so much of like a person because um, you're I, so, you're so personable. No, I, 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 I come on. I, I, I appreciate that, but Ow. you know, you know, I have to, I can't leave the, the of door. Of course, yeah. of course. That's yeah, my sworn duty. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you've been doing it for how long? Perhaps Three and, can, and a half thousand years. Perhaps yeah, wow. we can bring some cake down to you in a, in a little bit. I haven't quite had the appetite I used to. Fair enough. You, I you're getting that, enough though. calcium, though, aren't you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's plenty to scavenge off of. Excellent. People, now, as they yes, come down. As, <laughs> as we were saying, would we be able to just quickly pop in, get our withdrawal, and then we can go up and complete a complete the drill? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, no worries. Let, let, let me uh, let me let me get that for you. Um, and he just walks over, uh, and you can see um, the. In the door, there are again these cutouts that are like long and like stacked, and there's these shapes. Um, and <laughs> those shapes, <laughs> this, the, yeah, the, the, they all kind of are stacked in an arrangement. And as the skeleton walks up, just does this and just walks into them because they all line up perfectly with his bones. <laughs> nice. And he just walks into He's the door the and sits there, and then it just starts to <laughs> rotate away. <laughs> he goes, Well, catch you on the other side, and he disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. I want this security yep. system myself. I mean, it seems flawless. He's, mm -hmm. he's the skeleton. We didn't yep. need it. Oh, no. ah! <laughs> I love that none of us got it and you had to announce it. I yeah. was waiting, but uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't give you very long. I'm sorry. Incredible. Yes. All right. Um, In we go. So the, the door slides up. Let's find that safe, get those coins, and get the yeah. hell out of here. How is, like, this any more? So. You walk through the door to the vault, Ooh. the fabled vault of Avatar. Ooh. Um, Be in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, you have set foot somewhere that no thief has ever even dreamed of of, of setting foot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you have accomplished the impossible. Uh, before you is a an unfathomable array of riches and wonder, piles of gold just in the center of the space. Sure. Along all of the walls are rows and rows of safety deposit boxes and cages housing 
you know, gold bullion, stacks of contracts worth millions of dollars, um, uh, nobles' most prized possessions locked in their own private cages, and you can see all sorts of a menagerie of furniture and, uh, you know, uh, weapons, and in, in one there appears to be a, a, a small miniature enclosure set up for some animals of some variety. Uh, and across from you is a row of safes, um, smaller, smaller boxes, um, just along the uh, floor to ceiling on, on, the, on the wall. And there's a tall ladder that slides along the bookshelf to access them. They do. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Um, but in front of that, um, in the center of this cavernous uh, vault, sitting on a pile of col- coins and gems and uh, jewelry, is an enormous gold dragon. Oh. Oh. Uh. Retro. Mm, love that for us. Uh, who, as you enter, uh, stands up, stretches their wings to their full height, and tips their long snout of their enormous head down to your eye level and huffs when you see this, this, this hot, like burning hot wind blow out of their nerves and across your your faces. Um, Good afternoon. <laughs> Is it afternoon? No, I think Good it's morning. Good morning. Good yeah. morning. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell <laughs> down here. <laughs> yeah. No natural light. The wind, they need windows. You're not acolytes, are you? No, sorry, we're here for the drill. You got us there, chief. You're Thieves, aren't you? Only of your heart. We're actually we uh, <laughs> security consultants, and we've been tasked with uh, discovering any weaknesses down, in the like, security system. Right up close to you, with one eye, and you see it narrow. And he pulls away again and goes, You're. Al, aren't you? Leo, Stick, Sarah, oh my goodness. Is it really you? Oh my god. I, I'm a big fan. I must admit. I just, <laughs> I, I never thought I'd... Oh. Of us. Would you excuse me a moment? <laughs> of the it, banana the, bandits. The, the, the dragon like thunders and turns around and like shakes. So you see them being like, okay, be cool, 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 be cool. Be cool. Yeah, well. Cool. Uh, <laughs> all right, get, get it together, Wesley. You can do this. Be cool, <laughs> be cool. It's just. I love Wesley. It's just the back alley bandits. It's, it's just your, your favorite heist crew from the last age. Just be cool, Wesley, be cool. <clears throat> And they turn back around again and go, the name's Wesley. You must be the back alley bandits. It's a, it's a pleasure. Pleasure to uh, um, make your humble acquaintance. Uh, what nice you, setup. What do you You've eat? got here. Yes. Um, I, think <laughs> I receive a steady supply of food oh, and good. supplies. Now, from now the, I, the I know that. Well, sometimes when people meet us, they can be a mad awkward about asking. So rather than letting you simmer in that, uh, Wesley, would you like our autograph? Oh, I would like that very much. Fucking guy. Um, (laughs) uh, Do I have... um, uh, Hold on a moment. He pulls out a a piece of parchment from somewhere with his tail and goes, uh, uh, what is that? Let's deed to the city, yes, tears it like <laughs> hands you each a, uh, a piece of paper and I, I just I don't have a pen any... Oh, it's alright, I've got one. Okay, excellent. <laughs> what are you all... Oh. Oh, but that must mean you're, you're a... Oh. Yeah, we're, we're, oh. we're here on work, sorry. Yeah, we're, you know, we've, um... Oh, because I'm in a vault... No. It means you are here to... It's, it's fine. I get it. I get it. You're, this is what you do, okay? I've, I've read all the stories. I, I, I've, I've, just stories. I, 
have a comic book collection <laughs> that they made about you. They, I, oh. They always get you my know, nose that was wrong. a very limited run. I'm actually chuffs up a bit. Which, again, it's a huge dragon. <laughs> chuff up again. I'm actually running my own con. Ooh. Oh. oh. Would, you, would you like to hear about it? Yes. yes. We'd love to. Sure. I don't work for the church. <laughs> oh. oh. Tell Do us tell us Wesley. More, Wesley. The bank is a lie. What oh, we do love you that. Uh, uh, so, the, what was all this then? Let me get to that. I'm something of a bit of an innovator, you see. Um, uh, I had this idea about mm, three and a half thousand years ago now. Um, all this, all this hoarding of gold, all this pillaging and plundering and keeping it all locked up in a mountain somewhere is fine and all, but <laughs> did you know, if you say you're a bank, <laughs> people just give you gold? Like, like they just, they just hand it to you. We hadn't tried that one. We hadn't tried that they play. Just, they just hand it to you. What and you, you can just sit on it. Whenever you want, it's the, it's the greatest. I'm really like I gotta say I'm I'm very I I'm just you know. I like to think of myself as disrupting the hoard industry. You know, mm. <laughs> big hoard. So, yeah. What happens when people want their gold back? Oh, there's always more gold. Okay. Yeah. There's always more gold. Yeah. Win some, lose some. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, in that case, you wouldn't mind if we. Well, we're, we're, here, bit. we're here for something specific, though. We're not just some little ones. Yeah, it's just like it's five, five coins, really. Five coins. I and think would and do we'd us be plenty. we'd be more than happy to reimburse you. Oh no, you can't have any. This no. is this is my score. Could mm. we trade? Uh, what do you have to offer? That's worth. Literally more money than the entire world. Well, combined. we don't. We don't want like. No, we, we just. We just want, want like five, five coins. Uh, hold up a minute. I love your work, but you can't step on my turf here. This is this is my con. Why? Do you, do why you... don't you see it less as us stepping on your turf and more as two equals you know, of conning, no, but, meeting, and sharing their knowledge and, yeah, we are and on their, their, turf, their, their you, well, you know, you've, you've, by coming down here, you've risked three and a half thousand years of work. We don't I, have I to tell I, anyone. I love you guys, but you have to understand from my position, you've kind of, you know, messed everything up. Okay. Everybody just, you know, we've sort of been in the market. <clears throat> I'm sure you probably may have heard that, um, you know, that we lost mm. our fifth member. Poor James. Tim, sweet, sweet Tim. James Pond. Our most charismatic and enigmatic leader. Yes, he and never you would know, have let you pull a stunt like this. We've been you know, really looking for someone to, to fill that that hole that that, that was left you can't replace in our pond. in our team. I you know appreciate what you're offering me, like I really do, but this is my score, and I don't really want to share it with anyone. So I am gonna have to ask you to wait outside till the guards get here, and then I'm sure you will be able to. Sort it out amongst yourselves. You seem like a capable bunch so, from what I've read in your stories. So, see, we can't really do that, can we, Wesley? Like you, like you gotta understand the position. No, no, like I, it's cool. <laughs> I get it, but you're. This is my horde. You know how this works. Oh, totally. I can't let you take any. If we give you ten coins and we take. Five coins. Then that's doubling. You've doubled your coin. If we could get those five specific coins. They'll just be in the back wall. They're not even going to be from the, the pile that you're currently enjoying. 
his eyes narrow. <laughs> and he looks at John and says, I get it. You, you're big shots. You're not used to like, dealing with anybody who plays on your level. But let me ask you this, John. Do I look like a chump to you? No, you do not. Do you really think I'm going to give up the most valuable thing in this safe? Ten gold? Fifteen? (laughs) 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 What does value mean to you, Wesley? Infinite gold. So why haven't you been drowning yourself in infinite gold? Because I would fill up the room and suffocate. Yes. So you don't so really what's want the... infinite gold. Then. Well, no, because I can keep spending my money as much and as I want. And don't you think if, what are you if spending we have it these on, coins <laughs> outside creating infinite gold, you have 10 seconds banking to in, that gold would be coming back in here. Where do you think that gold's right going to go? Backing Someone away. needs to use a flashback right fucking now. Uh, it raises up like higher and says, once again, you have 10 <laughs> seconds to leave the room. Well, now, Wesley, when I asked you what value means to you what i really wanted to let you know was how much more valuable your reputation is than all of this gold is combined what do you mean by reputation well you've been operating for three thousand years and no one's ever broken into this vault that commands a particular amount of respect Mm. and power Mm. we didn't even know you existed yeah if if people out on the surface were to find out about all this? And mm. how are they going to find out? Well, the, the recording that we've been taking this whole time that is up on the surface as we speak, even if you gave us a little crispy chompy chomp. <laughs> unfortunately... I do love a little crispy chompy chomp. <laughs> that's, uh, that's already up there. In the event we, we just make the choice of Black whether now. that goes out. Flashback. Okay. So we don't know what's in the vault. We need to prepare for whatever eventuality that comes at us when we open that door. It could be any, it could literally be anything. It could be a giant (coughs) gold golem. You could have to fight your way through any number of different challenges. This is true. So it's important to be prepared. Given that we are going to be attempting to break into the unbreakable vault, the the bank that has never been broken into, and I believe their reputation is something that would be mighty important to them. Could we perhaps set up something, some kind of spells that record and relay our experience down in the vault? If we have something. And so if they try to do anything, we can just release that and let everyone in the whole of the city know that we broke into that goddamn vault. Al, you son of a bitch. Black I'm in. Mm. Oh. oh. We get a recording stone uh, or a, a rhythm uh, bone and a, like, a, uh, like okay. a recording orb. Um, Slash message stone combination. Yeah. So Talos is like, I feel like being able to blackmail somebody with evidence in the moment is a useful tactic. You know, if you have to talk your way past somebody, it's always good to be able to persuade them in the moment. Mm. So, yes, that, that this, we can certainly include that in your gear. Um, I'll have somebody waiting on the street um, uh, next to the bank, recording everything down. So, in the event we don't surface, <clears throat> that's going so around to every So, how would city. you feel about if we were to receive these five coins of infinite gold and continue to he bank? Stops away for a second, just goes, <laughs> <laughs> And continue to bank with the Bank of Abaddon and continue to put our wonderful coins into this bank. (laughs) How would you feel about we we don't tell anyone what's happened? You asked him. Turns out you're the chump, Wesley. Oh, Wesley. Wesley. Wesley, Wesley, my dear, my darling, my darling, Wesley. I just, I don't get to... Practice much down here. No, it's been oh, a long time. Wesley, we have been thoroughly intimidated. Please don't ruin this for me. Oh my please. goodness, I don't want to ruin this. You don't want to ruin us. Okay, okay, okay. Please, just promise me you won't tell anyone. Take the coins and go. 
Pinky promise. Absolutely. Holds out just a thundering <laughs> just huge thick. foot and just. And we. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's warm. It's, it's not 296. The code is 872. Just do it. Just do it. 296. It goes and curls up in the corner and just I'm gonna like, go looks real and sad. sit with Wesley. Okay. And just uh, be comforting. I'm going to open this vault. All right. You did vote, such a good job, honestly. With Can a little bit more practice, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, we oh. Can... oh, the vault! <gasps> the vault! Oh, the vault. Oh, open the vault! <laughs> and you see the <laughs> alchemical <laughs> master coin, <laughs> the literal minting coins of the city. Before you sit several very intricately, intricately carved and. Uh, accurate because they literally are Kitty the master depictions of the coins of Absalom. <gasps> They're so Yay! pretty! Cool. Got such yes. a um, very pretty. Okay. Now, On that back note, into the fiction. Back so, into the fiction. <laughs> we Can start... I please? Mm-hmm. I did not approach the vault. Okay. I let them go ahead. You went to the dragon. Mm-hmm. I'm still near the door, at which point... Uh, you're with Wesley. You're at the vault. You're probably in the middle somewhere. You're next to the door. Still yep. near the door. Okay, you two are near the door. Cool. Yeah, still near the door. All right. Cool. In fact, um, I am going to then throw that tangle foot bag directly at stick, jump backwards, and try and shut the vault door. Except uh, stick is not not next to you anymore. You go to throw your tangle foot bag, <laughs> and stick <laughs> is at the other end of the antechamber. And stick says, oh, "I'm so sorry. I hate all of y'all." <laughs> 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 Applause coming from the antechamber, and you look over stick, and you see sitting um, in in the. Uh, in the chair in the antechamber is Talos. I walk over, pocketing the five coins, uh, and go stand next to Talos. And Talos stands up and says, Well done, all of you. Uh, you all played your parts to the letter, and they. There's a flash, an illusion, and they resolve themselves, and you see before you a towering hobgoblin in uh, ceremonial armor. Um, uh, 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 it's actually a, a, a ceremonial breastplate over a detective's coat with a badge on it, and you can see labeled on the front SCU, which stands for Spectacular Crimes Unit. Uh, and you know that uh, each of you knows that this is none other than the famed chief detective of the Spectacular Crimes Unit of the Absalom City Guard, the infamous Tristane Solar Guild. And we flash back one more time <laughs> into a perfect four panel, four separate evenings. I hate you. You bastard! I hate you so much. four months ago. I did so much planning. I did Ow. not enough planning. I was trying to be so trustworthy and be like, exit plan, guys, exit plan, because... In front of a dimly lit table, mm. lit by a single lamp in an abandoned warehouse, each of the four of you sit in the same chair, different times, and a, 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 a black uh, cloth bag is removed from your head as you are uh, returned to the world, having been rudely bundled here by members of the SCU's Our elite hand operations. Our hand and sitting tight. across from you, each of you, is Detective Tristane, who says, Hello, Stick. Hello, Al. Hello, Leo. Hello, Syrah. I think we need to chat. Could you, Clearly. <sighs> could you light me one first? <laughs> that was a long fucking ride, dude. And what they say to each of you, as you all know by now, uh... <laughs> is that uh, they have your file, a large dossier which they throw on the table Ah. in front of you, which contains evidence of all of your escapades. They've been tracking each of you for years. The legendary backdoor bandits. Uh, Tristane has been trying to hunt you down and bring you to justice for the past 18 years. They've collected a mountain of evidence, but until now, They never had quite what they needed to put you away. Um, 
And so they decided to cut each of you a deal. <laughs> you would help them arrange a fake bank heist, a real fake bank heist, um, in exchange for your freedom. What each of you did not know, and what each of the players here did not know, yeah. is that I had made this deal with each of them in secret. <laughs> so you so, offered all of us amnesty? <laughs> <laughs> Tristan sits across from you, Alan, says, well, it's been eight years and how many incidents this time? Absolutely none. Mm. Mm. And tell me, uh, what about the last incident? Tell me about James. People make mistakes, and people should be allowed the opportunity to make right their wrongs. Well then, it seems that this is your last chance to do so. Leo, I know it's going to be difficult for you to accept, given your closeness with Stick over the past eight years, but if you don't take this deal, you will go away forever. How much proof do you really have in that folder? You can look for yourself. I look through it. And... It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> there is truly so much proof. And oh, you fuck. Getting all of you in one place at the same time, that's... that's the score I would choose. <laughs> you would... Um, my thing with taking this deal that I had previously discussed with the terrible person that is T um, <laughs> <laughs> was that as part of the evidence I was going to find the ways in which each of you contributed to James's death. So oh. Leo holds each of you personally responsible for the death of James, former leader of the crew and former lover of Leo. Oh. I hate you all. <laughs> Stick. That's amazing that you've been able to work with Stick for so long. This was four months ago. Oh, brutal. Yeah, so only four months. It's taken a while to put everything together. Yeah. How much allegiance do you really owe to the rest of your crew? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you throw them all under the bus for a fresh start? Total amnesty? Clean slate. I'll need that in writing. <laughs> <laughs> Sirrah. Surely, surely someone who's still in the game knows there's no honor among thieves. It's been so long. What do you owe them? You know, snitches get stitches, right? Well, one way or another, that's going to be true for you, so what'll it be? Cigarette first. Slandro. <laughs> what'll happen to him? Prison for life. Which one? We won't keep them all in the same place. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, smart, smart. I'm not going back. I know there's nothing I can say to you that will make you turn over a new leaf. So I'm not sitting here under any illusion that I think that you're going to take this opportunity. Live a life of quiet dignity. But no, I mean. this is this is in exchange for it. Head start. Call it what you will. Fuck. Fine. Very good. And now we flash forward to the present. Tristan says to all of you, now, if you all would be so kind as to put your hands against the wall, um, there are an entire garrison of my most trusted guards outside waiting for me to make this most auspicious arrest. Do you know, I think the mayor might give me the deed to the city. 
<laughs> Good luck with that. <clears throat> oh, and one more thing. Um, and they wave their hand and the bag flies over and they catch it. And they say, No. I hope you won't mind if I also help myself to a little uh, late career bonus. What are you doing with Wesley then? Wesley, my, my dear, my darling. I just... I just, you have I just, done such a spectacular job. No, you just, and you no, know I'm what? You, you know what better. I oh. hate for you is the fact that all of this, all of this has been engineered, not by me, not what, by what any other. What are you talking about? Do you know Tristane Soligil? Do you does chief detective of the spectacular crimes unit of the Absalom City Guard? Like who doesn't? Tristane is a damn dirty liar, and has used all of us to get their grubby hands on those coins. Now you may use your phone. Okay, I'm first in line, all right. Before we uh, go on this, this job together, I have something that I would like to talk to y'all about. Um, do any of y'all know the name Tristane Solaguild? I swear to Nana. So now, Guessing by all y'all's uh, expressions, you've had similar conversations, which makes me feel a little bit more like a fool. I was thinking that I was the only one, and then I was going to be given the task of betraying y'all, and then uh, be the one to supposedly get out. However, I'm not... I don't know if you r recall. I'm not someone who's particularly inclined to uh, being given two options. I rather like to keep mine open. And so I'm not fond of it when people try to force me down one or the other. Particularly that goddamn Tristane. You probably don't recall, but uh, I haven't been seeing anyone in the last couple of years. Not after what I saw my sister go through. You remember Timber? Uh, my darling sister Timberwood, how she got her heart clean broke. Where? By Tristane. Where is <laughs> What? Soul again. Oh my god. Long before he was, oh my they were god. on the, the force. <laughs> well, you don't think that I would, I wouldn't get the notice of the police force of the city. <laughs> I've been trying to get their attention in the hopes that I could get my revenge mm. for the way that they treated my sister. The, the cops in this city, I've seen them all. I have dirt on all of them. I've been working here for eight years. They think they can blackmail us. <laughs> We're the fucking baloney fucking bandits. <laughs> Keep that one, we'll be, it's better for effect. Okay, I give up. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay, keep going. Very difficult. Keep going. <laughs> We're the baloney bandits. This is our last score. One for the road. Let's go out with a bang. So, so we're just on our own you, journey. Like, you, oh, no, we all know. you did not know where they existed, but now you know. Which means I wouldn't have thrown the bat, okay. <laughs> But yeah. no, it's the theater. The, the point was up until the, the reveal, we weren't working together Tristan because was, we was were Oh, all actually, no, I have it because this is what I was going to do was that um, I was going to use my spell specifically on you. I was going to use my spell that after I locked you all in the vault, um, I was going to use the spell um, Sun Recollection, which basically means that I can make you a sleeper agent. Yeah, in essence, you, you, I can uh, bury, upon command you remember something. Upon but, command it, you remember until I say I'm sorry and I'm leaving the vault. None of you remember that we know. Like was what I was. Oh originally. yeah, we're so, compartmentalized. So yeah. so you make them all sleeper cooperative sleeper, sleeper agents. agents. So they all think they're being. This is how they play it genuine all the way yeah. up until this point. Is yeah. that you make them all remember now? We all and then they go, oh shit, that's right. We're actually in on it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so you all have until... the moment of like, oh no, and then you're like, but 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 damn. Yeah, yeah. So, like, everyone suddenly... Wesley, quick let's, update. Let's say <laughs> I've that... just remembered some very important details, Wesley. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I'm sorry I played trigger, you for a fool. Hmm. So the way that this works is that I can set a trigger. Okay. And if the trigger is when we get into the vault, so the second we all collectively step foot into the vault... Oh, yeah. We that remember... We remembered. Tristane is the mastermind behind all of this, is trying to use us so what to I'm... throw all of us under the bus. So what I'm hearing is, y'all are chumps too. Yeah. We're on the same level, Wesley. Say it. I'm a chump. We're all chumps. Do you want to be a Do you want to be a chump with us, Wesley? And do you want to take out this damn dirty officer, this dirty police officer who's trying to besmirch your good con. I want writing credits when they make this comic. <laughs> we do, do we control that? <laughs> you, you fully don't. We do not this is fan art of you that thieves distribute. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's like a thieves this. guild zine. <laughs> Um, Absolutely. He's just a fanboy. What do you want from me? Yeah. I love I love Wesley. I love um, Wesley. You in? You son of a bee. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> um, Wesley stands up and uh, stretches their wings um, and says, all right, climb on. So while that was yes! happening, while that was happening, yes! I've teleported out to the antechamber and gone, I'm so sorry, and you've thrown your tangled foot bag at okay. where I was, and Tristane's like, ha ha ha, and I've, I've got you all. I've got to stand next to them. At this point, everyone who's in the antechamber needs to make a reflex save. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Good thing I have evasion. Good thing I just rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh no! Uh, nine, your roll? 19. Uh, I rolled a three, but I'm gonna use Cat's Luck, which means I can re-roll and use the better one. Okay. Which is fine, I guess. 24. I don't have anything for this. Well, I don't okay. have rolling too bad. Yeah. Rough. Mm. A lot of dice happening just there. Why are there so many dice? Because <laughs> we're gonna, because we're gonna die. <laughs> Surely Wesley wouldn't burn us all to death. You two are gonna take twenty-four points of fire damage. Ouch! Thanks, Wesley. And Wesley. you're gonna take double that. What's that? As Wesley, the exterior vault door explodes. Rude. Oh, those are the guards, likely. Have arrived. Um, and you are, you are flung. Into like the you are flung into the the oh. vault. Um, you both are, you know, managed to land on your knees. So you're not you're not prone, but Jerry, you are prone. Justine says, "Well, uh, uh, I guess you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. Uh, please don't resist arrest, or the thirty guards that are about to run in here will kill you. Or do and let them 30. do that." Hey, Tristane. Hey. Goodbye. From the back of the dragon. Gush, gush, <laughs> gush. You two might want to get on my level. I'm just like yeah. lying and tr What's hair. Tristane doing? Um, hearing the dragon, yeah. they are legging it. Yeah, cool. This is for my sister Lumber and Timber and all my sisters, you damn dirty liar. All right. <laughs> we are going to enter a chase sequence. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, we're chasing Tristan. Tristan. <laughs> has the alchemical coins. Because you now all have a big ass dragon, it might just be easier to play this out action sequence style with you all on the back of the dragon if you want to do that. Oh, that I do want to be on the back you of the all, dragon. You all have the ability to... We get picked to, up on yeah, the Yeah, you all have the ability to help interact with whatever the obstacle is, mm -hmm. but yeah. Um, so the first thing yeah, that happens is that Wesley thunders down the... Um, vault towards the door um, and you guys can jump up on um, as, you know, 20 guards come running through the door um, all dressed in plate armor and then they all stop and see the dragon and have a moment of pause 
um, but they are trying to block your exit. Um, it is worth noting, Wesley are like technically large enough to get through the space, but the door not really designed for dragons. So How did that's Wesley where. Get in there? Throw a bomb. I mean, the, uh, the exterior has door has exploded. exploded. I have lots of explosives. Oh, it's already exploded. The exterior door has been blown open. To what life. happened to the skeleton? Did the skeleton oh, have a name? Oh, no. The welfare and whereabouts of Johnny Joints will remain <laughs> unknown. He's riding that skeleton keyhole in the sky. <laughs> That's weird. sad. All right. Um, am I first up? Because I'm throwing yeah. a greater mud bomb at all of the things. Yeah, you knock and, the guards over and yeah. get them out the way. Is it yeah, step yeah. one making the whole, the door big enough for dragon to fit through? Oh, is that the thing? That's dragon what I was thinking. Dragon's got to like bust the door. Um, I mean, theoretically, dragon could just deal with the guards, and then we could follow Tristan. Thanks. <laughs> These fictional guards could be killed by a, a fictional dragon. Yes. In a fantasy <laughs> setting. Yeah, yes. If, I, I mean, you guys all can collectively decide what Wesley's going to do. Either in this round, and if you bring them along in subsequent rounds, it's up to you. Yep. Yeah. So, cool. It's a big old dragon, the brief I think fire. Wesley sets the guards on fire. Yeah, it's yeah. probably step one. All right. <laughs> as long as Wesley can I say, get through door. Uh, Wesley, burn them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure Wesley doesn't want any uh, witnesses. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No, no, like no. Wesley can trust us, but yeah. Wesley goes always looking to add some scrap metal to the uh, to the <laughs> live to the uh, the old hoard. Heck. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so Wesley's going to roll their, their breath weapon. Oh, no. No. They, they fail bad. What? It's a reflex save. <laughs> oh, oh, thank oh, God. Oh, I was it's like, a, it's a good, wait, Wesley good, fucked good up? Good for you. Oh, right, right, right. It's good for y'all. Oh, no, yeah, they crit failed. <laughs> so they're going to take... He oh, yeah. Rain. No. They're dead. <laughs> yeah. It rolled... Literally just enough to kill the entire squadron's HP. Nice. <laughs> With nice. the double damage. So they so are. Are they like medium rare? Are they well done? So like it's not crispy? fire. It's negative energy. So they like gold dragon. They, well, no. This is the thing. Uh, Wesley um, shakes off their form, uh, and and it's 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 weird that you're only noticing this now, but like. Gold dragons have horns, and they're big. That's and spiny, what it was. Uh, and they're covered in gold I didn't because want they're to a gold dragon. I didn't want to say anything. Worse is kind of splodgy in places. The gold doesn't appear to be like uniform, and they don't have horns. Um, what have we made a deal with? I just uh, the thought, devil, Wesley. I just uh, thought Wesley so was a bit sick. Wesley lets out uh, their breath, and they, yeah. Um, deal negative damage, which means these people just shrivel up and die inside their... What is Wesley? Uh, inside their armor, and they just turn to, like... Is Wesley undead? Dust. Wesley is an umbral dragon. <laughs> known for running schemes and cons. Yeah. Cool, because gold exactly. dragons are, like, lawful good we're Yeah, like, exactly. We're yeah. like yeah. total bros then, yeah. because I'm from the Shadow Plane. <laughs> It's weird that you're you're also specifically only noticing this now, but yeah. the negative damage cinches it. Like, yeah. oh, Wesley, you didn't tell me. Ah, oh, I feel well, like I such a fool. A oh, I love it. I love it. Anyway, Gorgeous. Do you want some jerky? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any? <laughs> I say it's just nothing. It's just nothing. I, I hate to break up the Empty family calories. reunion, but um, Tristan, <laughs> the bastard. What do you do now, Wesley? Let's go get him. I mean, you you make the you make the door. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I mean, do I need to roll an attack because I'm just throwing a, a bomb at a? You still have to roll. To roll, yeah. Roll, roll to see if you crit fail to drop the explosive. No pressure. Please don't blow up the umbral dragon. Nat fucking twenty. See. <laughs> Good thing I got you to roll. Yeah, okay. Look, you make a big enough hole in it that you can fit Wesley through. With a nat 20, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, so. Perfect explosion Yeah, hit. you've got Wesley through the door. Um, Where's that fucker so you, Tristane? You, you, catch, you catch the, the, the heels of Tristane rounding the corner. So Wesley mm -hmm. is moving at Wesley's speed. Yeah, yeah. Per round. Um, you're all just going to advance up one more uh, step closer to catching Mm -hmm. Tristane at this point. So, 
because you had Wesley, because Wesley killed all the guards, I might move us ahead to the next checkpoint and just say you all mm-hmm. get a gimme. Oh, okay, cool. Um, uh, okay, and so you, 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 you're all in hot pursuit. You round the corner. Um, can I drink a potion while we're in motion? Yeah, you can drink a potion. Great. Yeah, so if you want to do any preparatory actions, like cast spells on yourselves, this is a good chance to do that. I'm drinking a potion of quickness, which gives me an extra action. Can I cast um, triple time? What does it do? Uh, everybody goes faster. Yeah, everyone. Cool. Uh, yeah, so um, our target. allies move it. Everyone gets uh, a 10 foot status bonus to all Okay, so everyone can move 10 foot faster. Great. For one round. Wesley, uh, who's our ally? Yes. Hell yeah. Okay. So everyone gets extra. Wesley gets extra. an extra 10 feet. Extra, Wesley gets an extra 10 feet. Great. Wesley's Wesley's got 50 feet of movement now. Well, I'll probably spend an action to activate my bracelets of dashing. Give me a 10 foot status bonus to speed for a minute. Okay, cool. You all round the corner um, and you can see uh, ahead of you um, is the hallway back to the elevator shaft. So you all see Tristane like gives you a cheeky wave and like shoots a grappling hook and then starts like <sighs> rising up um, just as you all make it, you know, to the, to the <laughs> elevator shaft. <laughs> so Tristane goes to ascend the, the elevator shaft. And then simultaneously, four different kinds of elaborate traps <laughs> trigger all at once. Spikes and poison gas and fire. And yep. Tristane's like, Those... what the fuck? <laughs> we... Who Those... are you? Ah. Flashback. Flashback. Yeah. <laughs> I expected to have people following me up through the elevator shaft. So on, I'm sure. on the way down with my back against the wall, I was planting very small bomb-like things on the wall. Where are you You're doing using that? a whole flashback token, so I'd say you can have little fire traps that you can have planted. Well, it could but be like you were damaging... in the horse with me. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> that probably doesn't work then. Where... Something else then. Well, I could, be... could have been doing that. I like if we're now we're all working together. Wait, that... yep. we did. Yeah, we that... were all working together, but then no, no, did the we compartmentalized. Didn't. None of you knew, so the so you all would have placed traps. Yep, yep. probably. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make <laughs> Tristane four roll reflexes? some mm-hmm. reflex. Just pick saves. four damage types. Okay. Yeah. So sure. there are three traps set by the three sleeper agent thieves who were actually working together, Very even good. though they were trying to, oh my God. <laughs> All right, that first one's a natural one, so that's good for y'all. Nice. Um, that one's gonna be fine. Uh, one of them is a crit, one of them is a success, and one of them is a crit fail. Um, they are slowed down significantly. Cool. Great. Um, and so these, these, you see them go, oh, bye bye, and as they're riding up, like <laughs> spikes shoot up underneath <laughs> them, and then you just see this woof fire as they go, ah! Ah, and uh, lightning, and then <laughs> at top. Um, and and uh, from our camera view, we see Tristan like grab the edge of the top of the shaft and like crawl over the top <laughs> as they look down and they see this dragon come flying up the shaft because of course it has a hundred and forty foot fly speed. Of course, um, I totally didn't plan this. I swear to God, <laughs> you um, gave us a dragon. I, I, I didn't think about this bit. You literally <laughs> gave us a dragon. So. <laughs> Here's the thing. Is Wesley going up the shaft? Yes. If Wesley fits up the shaft? Wesley will be able to crawl up there, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, Wesley's going. Wesley's coming with us. So what do you want to happen when you get to the top? I want Wesley to eat Tristan. <laughs> okay. I'll be honest with you. At least eat his All right. Half. Do we reach the bottom of the shaft before Tristan can climb out the top? So... Um, so it's quite a deep. Yeah, tall you shaft. you you have you have made up a lot of ground. They are just getting to the top as you just get to the bottom. Yeah. Wesley fire. How fast? How fast does this it's elevator a, how, it's go? A, it's a grappling. Oh, it's hook. not the elevator. It's, it's a grappling. Yeah, hook. yeah. I mean, just speed. if if Wesley just blows the negative so. fire up the shaft, <laughs> that's got only one way to go out. And that's just kind of crispy. Yeah, because there are crispy. no vents Wesley, or cracks, Wesley, are there? Wesley, Wesley looks to you and goes, I gotta, I need to like. Oh, 1d4 rounds. I, I know. Look, I'm oh. sorry. You gotta let me <clears throat> take a little, little breather. breather. Wesley, buddy, Hi, that's man. completely okay. I'll be, look, I'll, look, I'll be good to go again soon, I promise. So There's we, no rush, honey. Can you maybe fly us up there, though? Oh, that I can do. No <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they can get us within 30. So, yeah, you are now um, 
running through the offices. Uh, or, Which or have you been would having be, a drill. Or you would be if Wesley didn't just, like, explode the walls apart as they, like, burst into this office building. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. now there is just people running and <laughs> no, screaming. No, the drill! Everyone's outside for they're the not, drill! They're not it's exactly like people drill. in a heist. Oh, yes, they do. It's not a fire drill. <laughs> Why not? There's guards and police everywhere. Not a fire drill. That's not very good practice. <laughs> it there, was an alarm. There are like guards and police drill. everywhere. That's just ah, like office we workers test like the other securing the tea. That's just hostage uh, fodder, you know? Like <laughs> oh maybe not the office workers, but the security, the security. forces are still there. Which yeah. they they just scatter. <laughs> They like just scream and run away. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yeah. Not. And yeah, now, yeah, yeah. now, now, um, um, see, here's 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 the thing. So we've got Wesley loud. definitely isn't gonna fit in this hallway. No. So, no, but are we? Uh, within but we can jump Thirty off. feet of our good friend Tristan yet. You are. Yes, you are right. probably just just within like you. They they are just down the hallway in front of you as Wesley like bursts up the top actually as they burst open um the top of this elevator shaft like the wall next to them collapses and there's just daylight streaming in yeah, yeah. i am um, because um, they just fully knock down the the, the foundation of this building this i cast command and i yell Ooh. at tristain come back here all right do it and they have to roll a uh, will save will save mm-hmm. <laughs> just realized we've probably moved down an alarm die no, we set the alarm. <laughs> the set, the alarm. Probably at a decent. How's it? How's it? How's it? How's it? How's it? Twenty-eight creature. Twenty-five. So it's yeah. a success. So what does that mean? Is unaffected. Uh. So you you yell stop. <laughs> and Tristan just goes why and keeps running. Damn it! Yeah. <clears throat> I'm frost speed is it. So, so well, yeah, now we'll do back things to in, initiative. Now we'll do things back to initiative order. So we'll go. All right, I'm throwing my frost vial. Do it. Um, end this. So, that's a 27 to hit. Amazing. Plus, a, plus another one. That's a 28 to hit. 28 to hit is more than enough. Two movement. Is eight, um, ten cold damage. Okay, take ten, ten cold damage, and they slow even more visibly. They're like, oh, just let me. <laughs> Why? I'm also going to throw a greater mud bomb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's... You'll take a nick five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, issue, that's a uh, 29, I think, to With hit. the multi-attack? Um, yep, okay, that was a yes. 19. 3d6 bludgeoning damage and 3 bludgeoning splash damage. Many thank you. 5, 6, 9 damage there. Oh, and my last one, I'm going to do the Dread Ample. This is probably not going to would be 23 23 no cool ah. all right so we have a uh, muddy and cold tristane <laughs> still trying to flee slowly S- stabbed all several right. times slightly crisp <laughs> um jara i got 45 movement i feel I like have quick draw yeah you could probably you could probably like make an attempt to catch up to them if you want do you have throwing daggers or something i have a gun <laughs> you have a gun? <laughs> Use the gun! Uh, that would do it. Oh it doesn't have God. a striking rune on it, so I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna shoot them. <laughs> yeah, just shoot them. Just, just shoot them. Alright, I'm With just the power shooting. of gun. With the power of gun, I compel you. That's a 31. That'll hit. What's the damage? That is 5 piercing damage. You put a bullet through his ankle, and now he's like hopping. Like, real slow. Uh, real slow. That's with an air repeater as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 BB gun him in the Achilles heel, and he's just like, ah, oh, 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 <laughs> why? Wait, yeah. Can I cover the rest of the ground? You've got one action left, so you can just keep running. Yeah, to, yeah chasing I'll do after that. Cool. All right. Yeah, All right, Regan. Next, I'm. I've got four actions, so I'm using three of them to cover as much ground as possible or however many it takes to reach him. All right. Go for it. Great, I reach What's, them. What do you do with your last action? Let's hit them with a sword. Nice. 27. That'll do it. 14. Yep. Cool. Next. Ebony. Hello. Um, I 
suddenly appear next to Tristane <coughs> as I'm going to cast time jump again, which means everyone oh, else right. freezes. You literally pause time. Uh, yeah, everyone else freezes and I stride <laughs> twice. Okay, yeah, yeah so, so you all- 70 feet of and travel. You just, you just, <laughs> and so you're like just standing in front of him as time like unfreezes. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, hi there. Okay, yeah. So they like just at this point collapse. <laughs> Um, after being blown up, uh, frozen, covered in mud, <laughs> stabbed, shot, Tristane just like slows down and then just collapses. Uh, like just at my feet. <laughs> I'm like, hello. Um, you went to punch. Yeah, but and they he fell. <laughs> that's why I missed. Yeah. yeah. So, um, as they fall, they drop. The Coin purse it lands mm-hmm. on the ground next to them. Thank you for that. You look down and you see Tristane, but you notice something strange about Tristane's armor. There's so much going on. It looks uh, <laughs> well twist. to any of you who 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 would know, it doesn't look <laughs> quite right. Um and as you as you notice this weird sort of shimmer on their armor, uh, you see rounding the corner at the end of the hallway uh, uh, a tall, imposing, much more intimidating-looking hobgoblin dressed in plate armor. Oh no! <laughs> what? Who says, "It's you, lot, isn't it? Of course it is. Do you know how long I've been trying to catch you? Do you have any idea who I am?" Uh, uh, well, you wouldn't. This is, this is, this you is wouldn't Tristan. have to be Tristan in Solar Guild, would so you? So you have heard of me. Well Ooh. then, who's this person on the ground? God? Wait a goddamn them. moment! You're the damn dirty bastard <laughs> who ghosted my sister and broke her heart. We'll get to that when you're in prison. God <laughs> sees them, and as you look down, the form of Tristan Solar Guild. Falls away. Do not. And underneath you see. Do not. The <laughs> form of a human with a delicious jawline and long <laughs> no. hair. And you all know this person very well because eight years ago, Fuck. three of you thought you killed them. And you are looking at the unconscious. Very, very, very hurt looking form <laughs> of your former partner and possibly lover, <laughs> James Pond. Uh, I stomp on his face. <laughs> groans in his unconscious state. Cool. Um, what do y'all do uh, now? So, where's the guards the- are rushing towards you to seize you. Wesley. James is unconscious on the ground. The coin post is next to him. Al and Wesley are waiting back at the other end of the hallway. What's the plan? Wesley, my darling, my dear. I think um, I'm going to book it. I, I think that's <laughs> wise. Should we get your friends? Look. Should we, should we, should we maybe as a crew? Because, like. I also I can, grabbed I can, the pouch I then. Fly. Oh, I, I already grabbed it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I now. think, I think, I think now's the time to fly. Let's uh, let's let's get out. Of Do here. you take James? Oh my God, no! Absolutely not. Excellent. <laughs> um, yeah, I cast shift blame. It's a reaction spell. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and I uh, cast it. So a ba- it basically means I can alter a target's memories of. A triggering event, and if the triggering event was Tristane coming around the corner and seeing all of us, it's I just sh- gonna be. It's just gonna be James. Uh, as you guys fly as we away, fly away. Amazing. It is a check. If you would like to check it, it's a will save. But. It's fine. <laughs> it's the perfect narrative end. You all jump on uh, Wesley, Wesley the dragon. dragon. Get us out of here, Wesley, <laughs> and you flip. James, one final bird, <laughs> as Tristane says, seize that man. We've been chasing him for two decades now, and I seize him, goddammit. I um, can't believe he pulled us off alone. Just... <laughs> Finally, James, it seems you bit off more than you could chew, but none of you notice any of this gloating or downfall of the greatest 
thief of the modern age. Um, because you're all flying away on the back of an evil shadow dragon, I guess. <laughs> nice. <laughs> With an infinite source of money to adventures and places unknown. <laughs> Come back next time for the... <laughs> Heist successful. <laughs> And then, then the then the punk rock kicks in and the credits start rolling. Yeah. <laughs> we do want to say once again thank you to Campaign Coins for providing the uh, loot, the fancy fancy dancy Very uh, fancy uh, Absalom uh, yeah, coins currency for Pathfinder, as well as our hero mm-hmm. points um, for our heist flashbacks. Go the check detail them. On them. So pretty. They're really cool. So yeah. go check them out on Kickstarter. Um, thank you to Mark for sending us along to using this fun little trophy adventure and. We'll see you all next time. So, Bye. 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 Do you think uh, there'd be more uh, favorable towards me if I changed it to my spider form before, like, approaching them? Uh, it depends what kind of spiders they are because they might see you as a threat. Well, I'm a mummy long legs. <laughs> I'm going to avoid deep spider lore here. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know you will give it to me. Uh, it's not real spider just, clan. The, this, this is spider diplomacy. This is yeah, theater this of the is, mind. Are they going to see, you know, potential threat and or are they going to see potential, like, mating time, which is also a potential threat? Like, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, Mummy Long, like, specifically more intimidating Look. in the spider world. I might be here to fuck spiders. <laughs> if, it gets, if it gets the job done. Oh, my God. <laughs>